This has been my prayer every day. This Hilton is eating deep into me. You don't have to be worried. Everything will be fine. Nothing, like no one, nobody can come in between this family that God has joined together. But this is all my fault. I cost it all. At this point, I don't care who is at fault. All I know is that I'm a destiny child, blessed child. I can never be found in a broken home. So, Daddy will come around. But he has moved on. He's planning to get married to another woman. And if that happens, I'm afraid I've lost my place. Mm. Why can't you trust your daughter? Listen, no woman born by a woman, born by a man, thrown from air, or appeared from the bush, can come in between us. I know you very well, my daughter. I just pray that this all ends very soon so we can all live in peace. Yes. Just give that a little time. He will come around. I'll try. I'll try, my baby. But in the meantime, I should leave now before he comes back home and finds me here. One day, you will stay and not fear his arrival again. Rather, you will happily await his arrival as his loving wife. I love you, my baby. I love you too, mom. Thank you so much. All right, let me go now. Let me see you. All right, my darling. Nice. <laughs> Don't you ever touch me with those filthy hands of yours. You know, I keep wondering how a full grown adult like you never uses the broom. What am I even saying? I guess you don't have one. Because if you do, you will learn more than to cheaply give yourself as a tool of destruction in another woman's home. But you know what? She mama that never disappoints. So you have to sit tight and watch this drama conjuring you. Do you know? Do you know that you are home today? By now, she should have known that she's not welcome here. And soon, Daddy, you have to choose between her and me. She can't even compete with me. I'm so rich. Remember, the stubborn fly is in turn for the corpse. So, what are you doing here? I mean, if you want me to stay away from you, then I think you should also stay away from me. Stay away from my family, you cheap, hungry looking, frustrated, retired street body hawker. My father's house and wealth can never and will never be your home of retirement because me, Chimamanda, 
will put you in your place. Say leave this kitchen. I wasn't joking. This is my mother's kitchen. More so, her matrimonial home. Hmm. If you as little as touch this gas again, you will meet your doom sooner than you expected. Hmm. No, Miriam. Come down. Come down. Listen, Ferdinand, it's high time you talked to your daughter. I wonder why a little girl like her does not have respect for her elders. Why is she so bitter? You don't talk about my daughter like that. You and I know what she's trying to achieve. Except you want her to win. And I'm supposed to be in a war with a little girl who does not have manners? Ferdinand, is that all you have to say? I'm asking you. You know what? I'm done. I'm leaving. No, no, no. Mirabel, you have to calm down. That is not what I want you to say, Ferdinand. That is not what I want you to say. But it's fine. Let me just leave. Okay, okay. Let me drop you off. You can save that energy and advise your disrespectful daughter. I'm done. What the hell? Are you sure you're not going to leave this man and his daughter alone? What kind of dirty talk is that? Listen, what is even pissing me off is that I'm supposed to be complaining about this girl's mother and not the girl. Like I'm supposed to be in competition with the mother, not the said girl. Babes, you are not supposed to be in competition with anybody. Just take a look at yourself. Seriously, just leave this man and his daughter alone. It's causing so much trouble. Just look at you. Look at how worked up you are. Look at how stressed you look. It's not worth it. You're way too bigger than this. Huh? Vicky, sometimes I feel you don't talk with your brain. What are you talking about? So will this girl marry her father? Huh? Answer me. Please come off that. Babe, do you have to I just beg. calm down? Uh-uh. Don't stress yourself unnecessarily. When men fool everywhere. Married man. Stressing yourself over a married man. Old man for that matter. We get picking. Get time, Sha. I understand what you're saying. Fidina. Why don't you want your wife back? If she's sorry and then she has realized her mistakes, why don't you take her back? Well, Barista, I must tell you the truth. I think I'm in love with Mirabel and I want to marry her. Listen to me. I will continue to tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. It's high time you listen to your daughter. 
She's doing everything she can to make sure that she brings her family back together. One big family. One happy family. It's high time you, you give a thought to this. Well, I can see the hands of Flora in it. Trying to use my daughter to get to me. I expected her to go through the right way. Hey, 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 no, certainly that is not true. We still can't tell if she's the one putting up this whole thing or probably your daughter is the one doing everything she can to make sure that you guys are back. And as for the issue of Flora, I think she's only putting up a defense for her daughter. To tell you the truth, I just want a new relationship. Something new with Mirabel. You're my friend. Think deep about this. And I want you to tread on the path of caution so you don't make further mistakes. Come on. Um, well, uh... From all indication, Ferdinand is not ready to have you back just yet. And of course, we all know why. But Chimamanda would not hear that I'm not coming back to that house. She won't. I will sincerely advise that you let Ferdinand take that decision. If he's not ready to forgive you and have you back in the house, you have to wait. I'm so tired of all this. <laughs> this whole thing is affecting my daughter and I don't feel okay with it. Flora, this is the effect of your own decision. You cannot afford to blame anybody now. I don't know what to do anymore. Neither do I know how to help you. I want you. What have you been feeding my daughter with? I, 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 don't, I don't understand. What? Quite lately, my daughter has been so troublesome. And whenever she speaks, I hear the tone of your voice in hers. And I begin to wonder, is this my teen daughter? Pregnant, I'm, I'm still lost. What have I done this time? Okay, okay, okay. I have come to tell you to desist from whatever you have been feeding my daughter with. Stop poisoning her mind. Yes. I'm going to marry the new woman in my life right now, whether you like it or not. And there's nothing you can do about it. First off, I'm not poisoning our daughter's mind. Second, Chimamanda has a mind of her own. Why would I ever want to tell her things that can cause trouble? Why? Hey, Flora, let me make it clear to you. You're not coming back to my house. You made that choice when you abandoned us for your career. So, stay away from me. Stay away from my daughter. He's accusing me of instigating our daughter against him. And of course, it's very correct. Absolutely. Whatever Ferdinand accuses you of, is correct. What are you saying? What I'm saying is that you caused it all, Flora. You caused it. Yes, we warned you, we advised you, but you decided to do what was, you know, good for you. Now, you should bear the brunt of your actions. So you're going to join them now? <laughs> I was with them already. Flora, we pleaded with you to listen to the voice of reasonings, but you know, you choose to do your biddings. Now your husband is upset with you. I don't expect you to come crying. 
I'm tired. Fix your mess. Excuse me. What is the meaning of this, Ferdinand? Why will your daughter Chimamada come to my house and say so, so many demeaning words to me? Who the hell is she? And what have I done to her? <laughs> Ferdinand, please do. Please. I know you're so upset, but must you disturb this man with every problem you have? I don't get you, Victoria. What would you have me do? To sit here and fold my arms? Why that little brat? That, that refrag? Insult me just like that? Babes, someone who is looking for something where she did not keep any should tread with caution. Remember that. Go inside. I think she's right. I need to endure whatever she comes up with till I get in. And when I get in, she will definitely hear from me. That's a promise. Mirabel has to leave my family alone. She's a hungry daughter of the Lucifer. You have to realize the fact that that same woman we're talking about will soon be your stepmother. God forbid, Daddy. It will never happen. Mom is my only mother. And she's coming back to this house. No way. Chimanda, no way. And if she's the one putting you up to this, you better be careful. I am still your father. I make the rules and not the other way around. Who is the bringing in another woman in this house? I don't care anymore. I don't care whatever issues you have with my mother, but I advise you, sort it out with her, because she's coming back to this house. Chimanda, are you sure you're okay? I am very okay, Daddy. I am okay. And the next time Mirabel comes to this house, I will so deal with her. You won't even like what I will do to her. By the time I'm done with her, she will look so unattractive to you. You then realize how horrible she looked. She has never looked so good anymore. Look at what Flora has done to my angel. What in the devil's name are you doing here? Please calm down. I'm no longer comfortable with all this. The much I know, husbands and wives have issues. But they make up to be stronger and better, not traumatizing the young innocent child. You must be joking to think that after telling her to say all this to me, it will work on you. Daddy. Yeah. You can't keep doing this to me now, please. Have you ever thought of how I feel about all this? She has apologized for God knows how many times. You just have to let it go. Is it that you settled this today? Or there will be peace? She cannot be here. She cannot be around my house. No. 
or that infiltrator you call your fiance is welcome there, right? Could I watch your words? I'm still your father. She's still my mother. No matter what, no other person will take her place in this house. Since she's not welcome there, I am not welcome here as well. Can you see that? Can you see what you're trying to cause? You want to bring an issue between my daughter and I? No. Please leave. Please, and I'll never do that. I am sorry. I am. I am truly sorry, Ferdinand. Let's make this work again. We can try. After you had carried out your wish, you're standing there to tell me that you want it to work again? Have you not done enough harm? Come on. Don't start to act like you're a saint either. At least you have moved on. I have not. Do you think it's been funny for me? And the reason why I am taking this easy is because of our daughter. Otherwise, I will not take it funny with you. Now leave this house. Let's you, go! You're not serious. This is Let's go! Come on, come on! Oh. Wait, Dad! Oh. Your father! No. Your father! Come! What is it? What? Oh my God! Daddy! Honey! Is he joking? No, he can't be joking! He can't Daddy! Go. Daddy! Da Daddy, please wake up! It's just a prank! Please! Daddy! Wake up! What's going on? Wake up! You know what? Let me go get my driver, okay? We have to take you to the hospital. Daddy. Oh my god. Daddy, please wake up. It's just a prank. I just wanted to take mommy back. Please. Daddy, please. Daddy, listen. It's just a prank, okay? Daddy, please. Mommy! Daddy. Daddy, please wake up. Daddy. Daddy, please stand up, please. Daddy, don't do this to me. Please wake up. Daddy. Daddy. Mommy. Oh my god, what have I done? Daddy, please. It's okay. You will hurt yourself. I caused all this in my fault. No, 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 no. Come, come here. Why would you say that? Nothing is your fault. All right? Nothing. You, you can't blame yourself, my angel. Don't do that. Listen, I promise nothing will happen to your dad. Right. Nothing. Stop blaming yourself and crying. Fine. Doctor. How is my daddy? How is he doing? Please talk to us, Doctor. How is he doing? There's no cause for alarm. Please, madam, see me in my office. Uh, okay. Please. Sit down. Come, come, my love. Come. Come sit, okay? I'll be right back. Alright? I'll be back. It's fine. Please talk to me. I need to know what's going on with my husband. He suffered a great shock that led him to coma. Coma? Yes. It might be as a result of stress or something unpleasant happened. Or even shock. But he'll be fine. But not immediately. Please. Why? You need to rest. Please. to leave us one big family. I wanted you to embrace peace. Nothing more. Please 
possui cor. Quando please, you lay on this bed, it breaks my heart, please. Don't you please be cool. Come, my darling, come. Listen to me. Listen to me. You have done nothing wrong, okay? You've done nothing wrong. You were only making an innocent and honest wish. Every child would do the same in your shoes. Do you hear me? Every child would want their parents happy together and that's all you were trying to do. You've done nothing wrong, okay? Your daddy will be fine, okay? He'll be fine and your wish will be granted. Your wish will be granted. Don't blame yourself, my child. Come with me. Don't blame yourself. You've done nothing wrong. It's okay. It's okay. I don't understand. Eh? I've called him several times and he's not picking his calls. Eh? Look what of this is that family that usually come very, very early. I haven't seen her. Ah. Oh, well. eh, you're dizzy. You look somehow. Honestly. Come, Mata. Sir. I thought they gave you Sakola. The MD gave you a Sakola to pass around yesterday. Yes, he did. So, so what's happening? Oh, I'm sorry, lady and gentlemen. Please, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. But there is a development, and it's not a pleasant one at all. Is that the reason you are coming late to this meeting? And uh, of course, the MD is not picking his calls. Yes, our MD is here. He's lying unconscious in the hospital. In fact, as we speak, our MD is in coma. What? Is it coma? How come? When? How? I was called upon this morning. So you can see I'm coming from the hospital. He had a heart attack. He just escaped death. And we pray he survives it. What do we do now? I mean, how do we carry a man with a broken waist? Hmm. Happens to bed in It's a long story. Well, make it short. I'd like to know why you're involved in all this. <laughs> um, madam, I just spoke with the doctor. And from what he's saying, there seems to be no much hope left for us. I would only advise we keep our fingers crossed until the miracle happens. Honestly, Barrister, we're all hanging on hope. I'm very worried about his position in the company. Me too. Is the board going to appoint a new CEO? I don't know what their plans are, but I'm being invited for a meeting by the board slated for tomorrow. I am representing Dr. Ferdinand as my client. Does that mean the hands of our fair will be taken away from you? Um, yes, your mother would have been best suited to take over the company. Since your father is still very much unconscious, uh, your father made it crystal clear that your mother should take care of his property and everything that concerns him. And the board is very much aware of this. You are the next in line. But I doubt if you can handle this. 
you are the border lava. She's not yet an adult. I'm still not even a minor. The board might want to argue this out. Even if they decide to bring in someone else, your daughter here still has all rights to represent the father in the company, since her father has the largest shares in the company. I just want you to stay calm. Everything is absolutely under control. I will give you an update after the meeting tomorrow. I'm really not comfortable with this. I know. I just wish there was something I could do. It's okay, Barrister. Please just let us know if something comes up. Sure, I will. You can always come to me. I'll see you around, darling. Thank See you. you See you. Everything will be okay. Get a life, get a life. You would not listen to me. Now he's sick. What are you going to do? You will get life. So why is this squatting with me in the same house paid for by the same man? Are you in any way insulting me? Oh, no, darling. I just did what you did to me right now. You see a man who is willing to do anything for me, and you want me to leave him. For who? A married man with a wife. A divorced man. Unofficial. <laughs> Official or unofficial, he is divorced. Hmm. Why do you want to take advantage of a man passing through a face? Well, a smart person takes advantage of an opportunity. And that is not a crime. Please just let me think of my next move. I beg you in the name of God. Don't ruin this. Don't irritate me the more. Thank you. Tinker. I don't know what is wrong with that, Mrs. Zafa. <laughs> she, she's 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 so 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 annoying. Don't give her attention, Dave. Look, if you ask me, I will say God is working in our favor. Really? Yes, really. Count it. The MD is sick and unconscious in a coma. And from what I gather, anybody who is in a coma and stays more than 48 hours can stay there for years without recovery. How, how, how do you know this? Are you, are you not a medical doctor? Dave, I move around. I have seen people. I have seen people it happened to. I have heard about people it happened, it happened to some of people who are very close to me. You know, what we should concentrate now is on planning how we are going to get our own. See, we are going to make you the MD. If we make you the MD, because you are the next in the hierarchy, the highest shareholder, it has landed to you now. So when you become the MD, I will use that opportunity and then prop up my own share. It will come up, then you hand the MD over to me. You understand? And then we'll cash out. And then we'll move. <laughs> you see why I call you the master planner? Yeah, I, I use my own. Yeah, everything worked out as if you were waiting for the MD. Where to? I, I, are you sure you are not behind this? They believe this thing. I take advantage of every opportunity, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And that's why I am who I am. <laughs> I'm happy to learn from the boss. <laughs> nah. Hey! Don't worry. I know not know Actually, why we invited you here is uh, because of the situation we found ourselves in this uh, company. The MB, unfortunately, is unconscious. And uh, it happened at a very wrong time because he's not with his wife and we all know exactly what is happening in the, in the family, you know, with him and his wife. So we said, okay, uh, let us uh, invite you and see what you can enlighten us on, you know. Thank you very much, Mr. Maxwell, and I quite appreciate it. Because my client is struggling, she should not be seen anywhere around this property. Yeah. Well, that means we have uh, our decision has been right all the time. You know, yes, uh, the MD is sick, 
Yes, his wife is not with him, but uh, the company must go on. I mean, that's the only thing we owe him to make sure that things are moving the way they should, with or without his presence. So, uh, we have already alerted uh, one or two members of the board, and it is uh, right for us to approach the board, which was what we did, to have uh, a new MD, you know, get us a new MD CEO that will be functioning, carrying on the thing, pending when our boss recovers from his uh, sickness. Well, I think you all are doing the right thing. And be it as it may, I also have an observation here. His daughter, Chimamanda, has the largest shares in this company. Why don't we consider her representing her father? <laughs> no, you know, that is impossible. I don't, I don't get you. I don't understand. In what capacity? As, as MD or as a secretary or maybe a back career. That's what. In the capacity of her taking over. No, because as far as I'm concerned, she's just a baby. She's not a child. She's a teenager. She's a baby. I'm not talking about she is not a child. Look, it's not a child, child without experience. It will run this, the company down. A teenager without experience is as soon as just like record high mass for the company. It's yeah. gone. That is what the law says. With all due respect, we cannot appoint a child. There's no way we can appoint a child. Right? So we invited you here to come and represent your clients. Already, the board has made a decision. Point of correction. She is not a child, she is a teenager. And a teenager has every right to control and rule over a private company because she's already part and parcel of this company. She has the largest shares in this company and she can represent, that's what the law says. She's that experience. But she's already part of the company. She has the largest shares in this company. So that is what the law says. Look, look, look. There are no women in the village who have shares. There are people bought shares for them in big companies. Do we have to say that the grandmama will have to come and become the MD? Listen, 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 let me tell you something. This is not a law chambers. This is a conglomerate. You know what I'm saying? And we started this company from a scratch. From the scratch, we built it to this, to what it is today. And you want to send a, a baby to come here and run it down? It's not possible and it's not going to happen. Let me tell you something. Tell me what you want to tell me. I am going to sit here and further educate you all. Excuse me, excuse me. I take exception to that. To what? To that, 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 this stupid thing you just said. Will you shut up? Will you keep quiet there? Sit your house down. Will you keep quiet there? Will you sit your house down? Hello, madam. Oh, doctor. How are you? I'm okay. I'm just um I'm still here because of my daughter. She insists that I remain here until she returns. Wow. I can see the connection between dad and daughter. Very impressive. But you need to go home. Freshen up and rest. I have nurses attached to him. They will always check on him. Uh, it's fine, Doctor. I don't think I need anything yet. I have to do as my daughter wishes. It's okay. I'm here to do my regular routine before going for lunch. All right. That little rat here. Eh? That Dave, girl. Dave, is that why you're sweating? I'm sweating? No. Look, listen. I know that barista is up to something. But let it not bother you. Because whatever it is, we are going to manipulate them. 
Don't worry about that. In fact, it's even better. Let us allow her to represent her father. Oh, why? Because we can easily manipulate her. You don't know. We can manipulate her so easily, you know. Including the mother and the barrister, whatever it is. We know what our plans are now. We know what our plans are. We know what we want to execute. Hmm? So forget about that. The, the girl is small. Very small. But she, she, she's bold and intelligent. Look at her. That's what I'm telling you. It is the barrister and the mother that is feeding her with all this rubbish to come and uh, do in Angas if they're intelligent. We are going to manipulate all of them together. Do you understand? Maxi, Maxi. Relax, Dave. Relax. <laughs> you are the master planner. Always. I told you, don't sweat about everything. Did you see sweat on me? I can't sweat about anything. I don't know. Let's go before the let's, let's let's go and start suspecting. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, uh, Mr. Barry, sir, I, um, having put this together with my colleague, um, we decided to tow your line. Let's mm -hmm. do it, uh, yeah. Go away. yeah, we accept her. That's all right. Uh, Mrs. Safan, do you have anything to say? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm short of words. Well, I think the board knows we're on track. What other further decisions the board has to take should be done in accordance with the law, not forgetting the company and I lied matter act. It's very important. It is. We have been applying it, Kama. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, it's all right. Uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing her. So, uh, I think we have all agreed. That we, the only thing we can do is to go down on and then encourage her and then teach her so that she comes there. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Maxwell, Mr. Dave, Mr. Safa, and our amiable secretary here. I sincerely appreciate the decision that you all have taken over this. I can appreciate you all enough. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, Varisa, we're looking forward to seeing her on board. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Baby girl, so how did you guys include the affairs in the office? Thank you. Chimamanda is surprisingly the one to take over after my father. Chimamanda. Chimam Who is Chimamanda? What sort of useless question is that? Don't you know Chimamanda, Dr. Ferdinand's own daughter? How is that possible? I thought she's just a minor. <sighs> My dear, for reasons best known to the board members, they all agreed that Chimamanda should take over from her father. Till he gets better. <sighs> Talking about her father, how is he doing? <sighs> You can't tell you anything on that. It's like seeing him. But trust me, I'm seeing him soon. All right. I'm going out. I'll see you later. Okay. Right. But please, okay. be safe out there. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. See you soon. Oh. Father. I know you can hear me. I know in the spirit you can see me. Once again, I apologize for putting you through all this. I've been appointed the new MD in our company. I know it's rather earlier than we planned, but I promise you today, I will do my best not to let you down. I will do my best to maintain the legacy you've laid down. I will represent you so well that when you stand to your feet, you'll be so proud of your ambassador. Please get to our soul.
Kiki Mamandang. I am fearless, bold, strong, dogged. In other words, and Warren Kuni John. I believe in team spirit. I believe in teamwork. We can achieve a lot if we have a good team spirit. Um, I believe we all have a company's interest at heart. And I hope there is no unworthy or English fellow amongst us. Wow. Hmm. So glad we are on the same page. So I will look forward to working with you all. Same here, Miss Fernanda. You're welcome. You're welcome, Miss. You're welcome, Miss Fernand. Please, don't hesitate to call any of us whenever you need our help. We'll be there to render our services. I'm so happy this is coming from all of you. And do not forget to share your ideas. Share with us so we can know what we'll make out of it. I think this will be all for now. Hello? What are you still doing there? Are you not going with them? Yes, ma'am, please. I'm just trying to pack up my voice. Then do fast, act like someone who blood is running through her veins. I do not hurt, laziness, and lust. Wow. How you move in all this work? I think I have come in. Miss Ferdinand, here. This is the printout you asked for. Okay. But I would like the soft copy to be sent to my mail. Okay, that will be done. Anything else, ma'am? Nothing for now. I can go. All right, ma'am. I want the details of our stock. I, I, I'm sorry, ma. I, I'm not in charge of that. Mr. David is in charge of uh, stock keeping. Okay, so you send my request to him. Sure, sure. I'll do just that. I want a brief of how the company operates. So I can compare it to the one I have and the one I know already. That's nice. Oh, well, we have a very nice customer service that gives us the direct relationship with our customers and investors and so on. So you have no cost for our lot. Okay, but I still insist you give me what I asked for. Uh, that is my, I will prepare it. I will, I will do just that. What's she asking you to do? Well, she's requesting for the company's income statement as at last two months. Well, I think what she's interested in is our closing stock. Oh, okay. Hmm? Um, I'll give you exactly the statement you give to her. Eh? 
So, you follow me to my office. I'll give you the statement. You praise the amount and give to her. Eh? That's it. Sir? Yes. What is that? No, what is that? Follow me to my office. I will give you the statement you print for her and give her. That's what I'm telling you. You're telling me, sir, what is that? Sir, what? Well, it's already too late. Eh? Yes, because I already printed it and gave it to her already. Hey! What? 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 You said what? You did what? Without informing me, my own department. Ah! Well, I'm sorry, sir. I just didn't think it was important for me to come to you whenever the MD gives instructions. Hey! Now, listen to me. Henceforth, you do nothing for her as far as this company is concerned without informing me. Is that clear to you? If you go contrary to this instruction, you are out of this company. Out of this company. Ha! I'm sorry, sir. Sorry. Sorry for yourself. Look at you. I thought you were intelligent. Hi! I'm sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. Nonsense. Yeah, I'm preparing a report to present to her. <coughs> that is a more serious problem. What? But there is fire on the mountain. Again? That little thing, that, 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 that rat instructed the company secretary to prepare an income statement and submit to her. Now, she already did this before I got rid of it. Yeah, but we have already tampered with that very one. We have rearranged that one. You don't understand. We did was uh, the, the new one we prepared, which should have been submitted to the MD uh, mm -hmm. before he faced it. Mm -hmm. So, well, so we submit the old one and then keep the new one for next month. It's simple. Don't you get? Huh? You must have planned any day. <laughs> any day. Okay. Uh, right now she's having a meeting with Mrs. Safam. Okay. Mm, I think I will wait. Let's see what she has in stock for us. Let's okay. make sure we work according to our plan. If we follow our plan, we'll never fail. I will assure you that. Let me finish preparing this. Or for today? Or in this office? In this office? I got it. I got it. He's trying to face two men. She's not even afraid. She's not afraid. No, she will get shorter. By the time we finish with her, she will go half. You want to reduce her to a dot? Full stop. <laughs> okay. How do you mean? What are you talking about? How come there are so much debtors here? Hmm? Well, 
he said, in every business, uh, company, industry, just any any institution that has to do with money coming in and going out, that's income and expenditure. Hmm? Uh, uh, there's always debtors and creditors. You know, there's it strikes a balance. You understand? Has to balance the equation everywhere. That's how it is. <laughs> this one is uh, it's not uh, well, you know. Uh, it's not out of place, you understand? Uh, that's, uh... What I mean is this. With the rate of debt, this company might go bankrupt one day. I mean, look, look at the unrealistic debt. Why is the figure so high? Is it that some of them are dead or what? Huh? Listen. I want to get the name of every company or individual owing us and how much they are owing that was up to this within 24 hours. 24 hours? Yes, 24 hours. How is that possible? 24 hours? Are you here to question me or you are here to work? It's all right, so I will get them for you. Hmm? I will get them for you. Don't worry, I will get them for you. Remember, we need to for us. There is any problem. Well, you are the real problem we have in this company. Listen, what nonsense have you been feeding Miss Fernan with? I, I don't understand. What do you mean? How will you understand? You can never understand. Listen, I do not expect you to own up. But let me warn you. Do not cross your lines. Do not cross your lines. Mind your business. As far as this company is concerned, mind your business. Uh, let, let, let me get it straight. Is that a threat or what? Ah, threat. I don't make threats. I don't make threats. My promise is, if you don't mind your business, ha, you will find it real hot. Real hot. Nonsense. What is wrong with this one? I have no idea. It's okay. Um, I'm sending you a document. Oh, babe, I want you to print it fast. Mm -hmm. I need it in hard copy. Mm. No, drama, drama. Coming. Good afternoon, Miss Pregnant. You sent for me. Yes, please. Do sit. Thank you. I would like you to take over our stock records. I asked Mr. Dave to make a list of all the debtors. I want to form a team so the team can investigate and ascertain why our debtors have not paid. 
That's a nice idea. And I will take over from Mr. David immediately. Please do. I also wanted to extend this to our sales manager. From today, all our customers must at least pay 85% before any goods will be raised. It's all right. I will extend that to Mr. Maxwell. Okay. I think that is all for now. Thank you, Miss. No noise. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> I don't think you got it right this time around. Okay. Look at that girl. She's so intelligent. You don't even understand what's going on. Okay. Imagine the kind of changes she made within 24 hours. Eh? I believe somebody is pushing her seriously. Somebody is behind her. There's no somebody there. It's the mother. We all should know it is the mother that's pushing her, trying to teach her techniques on how to run a company and all that and all that. But we, 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 we deal with that girl. We will confuse her. That's the only thing. Just find a way to confuse her. See, I don't think the mother is the issue here. I suspect Mrs. Safan. Mrs. Safan? That woman. You may be right because it was that Mrs. Safan that gave me the information this morning. What information? The one I told you about now. That uh, 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 Miss Ferdinand said we should. Uh, uh, collect 85% uh, upfront. If anybody is coming to carry any good, we should take we can collect uh, 85%. See? See? That Mrs. Safan is a devil. It means she is a devil. In fact, anyway, I will deal with both of them. This company, let me tell you something. This company belongs to both of us. Okay. You and I, we own this company. So to say, but we have to use our head if it has to resolve that. Uh, what of those people that we are, we are, we are owing the debtors? Well, uh, you and I know that we have a few more debtors, oh, and um, we just have to devise a means to pay them. You understand? And to clear those debts so that uh, um, we can pretend that the debtors came in and paid. Do you know what you're talking? We are talking about twenty million here. Do we have a choice? Oh, yeah, my man, they get really now that I hope, but we just have to pay this time. We just have to pay because we, 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 we ate the money. You know what I mean? Good man, I see this in the world's half years. That's in Yuri, Yuri, you know, they go. Do you think it's necessary for you to go? Victoria, I need to go. I need to go and assume my position so that they know that I am very serious with him. Baby girl, you need to be very careful. His wife hates you. The daughter hates you more. The only person that appreciates your presence is sick. So you just have to be very careful, please. Yeah, I know. And I understand where you're coming from. You're just looking out for your friends. It's fine. But I need to go there regardless. Vicky. That man is not just my friend. He's my fiance. And his state of health is my concern. All right. We just have to be safe, okay? Definitely. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye. Careful. <laughs> How may I help you? My name is Mirabel and I'm Mr. Ferdinand's fiance. Oh, I see. So why are you here? 
I heard of the unfortunate incident that happened. So I went to the hospital and was told that a restricting order was placed, that nobody should see him. Why would you do that? The audacity. <laughs> let, me, let me try to understand this. You came here to look for my husband and you have the guts to open up with your full chest in my presence? <laughs> I beg your pardon. Your husband. Come on, I thought you guys have parted ways. So why are you still referring to my Ferdinand as your husband? <laughs> you know, I give it to you. Yeah, I, I like your boldness. But unfortunately, only family is allowed to go check on him for now. Unfortunately, you are not family. Ooh. Madam, what you're doing is not right. I only want to see him, to know how he's faring. And you're restricting me? Listen, you bitch. Whatever you think you are, fiance, whatever you call it, there is a title that's more than that, and that is wife. That's what I am to Mr. Ferdinand. <laughs> yes, and unfortunately for you, you cannot see him because my daughter and I are doing a fantastic job of taking care of him. You go bloody well look for your own husband and take care of him. I have my husband and he's in safe hands with me. Now you get out. I have my husband and he's in safe hands. Get out, Wait, bitch! I don't get out. What would you do? Oh. Get out. What are you going to you do? You don't want to test me. What you're doing is not right. I'm a classy woman. But really? You don't want to test me. How classy are you, bitch? Get out. How classy are you? Just get out. Don't touch me. Go. Don't freaking place Leave. your hand on me. Leave. What you're doing is not fair. It's not right. And I bet you you're going to regret this. Trust me. You are going to regret this. Okay, trenches, bitch. Now go. Go. Bloody trenches, bitch. Get this freaking gold dagger. Lord, I blame men for all this. I can say you are so primitive. Your education and your exposure are all stills. Listen, I'm not here for all this. It took me a whole lot to get here. Please move outside. I want to go to my parents. See who? Fiance. Fiance that don't, none of his family knows about you. I want to see your fiance. Tell me, when did my father engage you? Answer me. Listen to me, Amanda. I have tolerated you enough. But what I would not take from you and your mother is to deny me access to go right in and see my fiance. I'm telling you. Chima Manda is telling you that I will not give you the access to see my father because your evil plans will not work. You know something? I wonder why a grown adult like you don't use your common sense. Yeah? Now, leave this hospital, else I will call the security on you. Now! Very wrong then. I'll leave. Leave. But trust me, I'll be back. Of course. You'll be back in the mortuary. Yes. Get out. Get out. Treat body hawker. Honestly, this is total bullshit. She's right. You do not belong to that family. You can't even sue her for anything because Chief is not legally married to you yet. I tried to reach Chief. It's all to no avail. Until this morning when I called the driver. And then he told me about the unfortunate incident that happened to Ferdinand. I told 
give no other woman and her little which has done to my Ferdinand. Okay. I have never met a more generous man as Ferdinand. What do I do? Baby girl, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Just get used to the fact that you are not welcome there. You are not needed there. The only thing that you can do now is just to pray for him. <laughs> That's all. It's just your prayers now. You you have to just pray for him. You're not welcome there. <gasps> My friend, you know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I don't like it when you're like this. Stop My now. Stop. 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 It's okay. It's okay. Everything will be alright. Okay. <laughs> Last time I checked, I'm the boss here. No delivery must be made without going through the required process. Mr. Maxwell, tell the warehouse keeper not to open the warehouse till I say otherwise. Copied? Have a nice day. Hmm. My super smart daughter. Do you know, I am so proud of you. Acting as MD on behalf of your father is a really huge task. And I believe you can do it. Okay? Just stay steadfast and know that mommy will always be here to support you. I will support you in every way that you need me to. I will support you with my prayers always. And never hesitate to come to me if you have any issues. All right? Thank you so much, Mommy. Ever since this unfortunate incident, you've been my source of strength. I appreciate all the effort you put in so far especially taking care of my father. That shows you really love me. Thank you so much. Anything for you, okay? Anything for you, my darling. Anything for you. My super intelligent daughter. My Miss Intelligent. <laughs> I like it when you tease me. <laughs> and guess what? Believe me when I tell you that your father will be fine. Okay? I believe it. He will be fine. The gods. And so you needed to see the gods with which this girl said to me. I'm here to see my fiance. <laughs> my husband. Without fear. Just imagine. And claiming right. <laughs> Do you want to know the truth? Because from everything that you have narrated, nothing will stop me from telling you that you are the architect of your problems. Yes. What have I done? What have you not done? What have you not done? Flora, I sat you down here in my house and I advised you. If you had listened to my advice, your marriage would have still been intact. And there wouldn't have been any room for, you know, a, a disagreement before Ferdinand had the heart attack. Your daughter and her father were doing just fine before you came. You shouldn't have gone back there. Now see what you've cost. You're asking me, David. So everything is my fault. Why? Even this one too is my fault? Look. This is not my fault, Betty. It's not my fault. I mean, all I wanted was 
to have a strong base in my career. I needed it. My husband just, just did not understand it back then. Besides, I'm not an initiate of all of this. Shimamanda is the one who's been clamoring for us to get back together. I'm just saying the same thing. If there was no separation in the first place, there won't be a clamor for reconciliation. Hmm? Flora, you are the architect of Ferdinand's ailments. And you have graciously added psychological trauma for your little daughter. Okay. Let me speak. If I were you, I will earnestly support that girl with prayers. Because for her age, she's been through so much. All thanks to you, her mother. It's a way you're talking like you're not a mother. It's hard. Oh, now you know it's hard. Really? It's hard, Flora. It wasn't hard when you left your family for two years in pursuit of a PhD for two years in another man's country. What were you thinking? You relegated your responsibility as a mother to your daughter and as a wife to your husband for two straight years, Flora, in another man's country. Now you know it's hard. I just did not know how to come with the situation back then. All I could think of then was going back to school, my career, my certificate. That's all I could think about. If only I knew. If I knew, I, I would have tried to look for a better alternative. Well, let's just hope for the best because um, as it stands, Things have gone out of hands. I did my bit too. I did my bit. Honey, you're still here. Mm, yes, I'll send it down. Okay, um, I wanted to discuss something with you. I got the admission from Harvard Business School for my PhD. Sweetheart, I, I thought we discussed this before you applied for the scholarship, but we need it to be around us. Besides, there are universities, you know, like at Ohio. Um, it's uh, the one in Zaria. They offer business courses. But when those universities are far north, plus I need international standard. I'm used to schooling abroad. Uh, what if you, if you uh, offer online? Remember, this is not just some professional course. It's PhD, for goodness sake. It's not easy doing that online. Oh, I really don't uh, know what to say. I, I want you to have your, your PhD, at least that will enhance your career, but we need you around us. Oh. I really don't know. I really don't know. I need to finish this, please. the meaning of that? I mean, what you just displayed out there. Oh, you want Chimamanda to, 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 to get worried? Or to think that we're not getting along well? Well, maybe she should know. Because you've 
decided to be unreasonable. You're getting on my nerves. What have I said? No, just tell me what did I do? Why are you refusing to see things from my own perspective? Ferdinand, you should also understand how important it is for me to have this additional qualification. I need this certificate, Ferdinand. It will, it will help my career a great deal. Look at you. Who won't be happy that you, 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 you are excelling? You're my wife. And it will be my joy that you are up there. But one thing you needed to understand is we need you so much. We need you. Instead of running up and down for a certificate, something you could just do around us. We will not miss you. You will not miss us. What is this? Oh, please, Ferdinand, you're just being selfish. Oh, I see. It is always a man's world. Women cannot say or do whatever they want. I'm so shocked just the way with you as well. You shocked me. Excuse me. What's wrong with this woman? Why has she become so unreasonable? No, you cannot just go like that. We must make this discussion before you leave. I can't talk about this anymore because you are sounding unreasonable. I don't want you to travel abroad for your PhD simply because you want promotion or some future political ambition. But my career should also be important to you. Proximity. Proximity is a problem. You have a family to care for. In fact, I'm done talking about this. <laughs> you, 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 you're walking out, right? You're leaving. No problem. No problem. Go. You will go and come back to meet me in this house. We must finish this conversation. You are so selfish, Ferdinand. You have all your qualifications. You don't want me to have mine. You don't, right? You are selfish. <sighs> Why are you so stubborn, Flora? Hmm? Listen, you know that I'm the closest to what you call a family after your parents' demise. May their soul rest in peace. I will always tell you the truth. But until what truth? That my husband does not want me to travel abroad for my PhD program. Is that the truth? Let me ask you sincerely. Flora, must you travel for your PhD? Mm -hmm. Must you travel? All right. If you must travel, why don't you go with Chimamanda? <laughs> so you know my husband would never accept to stay without his daughter. They are too close. And besides, the cost will be too much. Tea. I want an international certificate, not a local one. I'm used to schooling abroad. You know this. But you have a family to attend to. You have a husband and a daughter to cater for. Flora, why don't you put them topmost on your priority list? So that you can make a better decision for yourself, for your family. Please, Flora. Why is nobody considering my own feelings? Eh? Why is nobody considering my intentions? Is it fair? And so please, if it's about my daughter, she can come stay with you. Your husband and kids are still in the States. You have some company, so you won't be alone anymore. Even though that sounds like a very good idea, but you know that's not what I'm saying. Hmm? Why don't you pet your husband, Flora? <laughs> Use your feminine charm. Just make him agree to your decision so that you both can come to, you know, a considerable compromise. Flora, I do not want this to cause the problem and between you I've and heard. your husband. I've heard. Please, I'm hungry. It's not even giving me food. I know you're very stubborn. Hmm, Flora? I know you're very stubborn and strong-headed, but you know what? It will do you a lot of good to listen to my advice. Okay, Auntie, I've heard you. Please, I need food. What do I even do with this girl? How do I even make her see that she's... Oh, goodness. Flora. 
No one is saying you should not have a PhD. After all, I am running an online program. You can as well do the same thing, or better still, attend a university nearby. You know how long it took us before we, we, we got Amanda? And for over 10 years, we'll be trying to have another child beside her. And all you could think is PhD. All right, when you go, who takes care of the house? You know how my, my schedule can be very busy. Have you thought of that? I've been expecting you to say all this. I know you would go this route. Ferdinand, I have told you this, that I cannot do my PhD program online. Also, I have said that I'm used to schooling abroad. So I cannot go to any university here in Nigeria for my PhD. I told you this before. Why is this still a problem? Look, okay, about having other kids, you know how much I've wanted that as well. I need that more than you. So don't try to bring that up now. As for Chimamanda, she can always stay with Auntie Ngozi. I'm not gone forever. I'm only gone for 18 months. It's more than a year. For a married woman to stay off her matrimonial home for over a year. Please, stop this. Stop! Well, it's obvious that you've made up your mind. I'll miss you more. But do not worry, okay? I'll be back soon. I will be back before you start to miss mommy too much. Mommy just has to leave for a little bit for now, all right? You remember what I told you. When I return, you'll even be prouder of your mommy, okay? Just be a good girl to daddy and don't give him too much trouble, okay? and I'm leaving for the airport. So you're truly leaving? Yes. Yes, I am. My career is also as important to me as my family is important to me. It is obvious that your career is more important to you than your family and your marriage. If you go through that gate, then consider our marriage dissolved. It's your choice to make. Very well then, since you have decided to be unreasonable, watch me leave. You don't look happy at all. Is there a problem? 
Mr. Ferdinand, please speak to me. Is everything okay with Flora or Chimamanda? Flora finally traveled out of the country for her PhD. Aren't you aware of that? Flora traveled? After everything we talked about, you were not serious, are you? I may not be serious about anything, but I am dead serious that this marriage is over. No, Mr. Ferdinand, please take things calmly. Allow me to speak to Flora, let me know what came over her. I have come to let you know that I have made up my mind and nothing whatsoever will make me change my mind. Mr. I pleaded with her. I even gave her option. I threatened her. But Flora, Flora dared me. She dared me and abandoned our daughter with me. Knowing how tight my schedule can be. Flora, if she ever come near my house or near my daughter Chimamanda, she will be a forgotten story. Have a good day. Mr. Mr. Ferdinand. Oh no, Flora. How stubborn can you be? I mean, how will you disobey your husband to travel, living behind your only daughter, knowing fully well what you people went through to have one? I don't understand. Ah. <sighs> hmm. Just these few days that I talked about it, they decided to pay. Yes, <laughs> you know, these are debtors. Uh, oftentimes, they need reminders you know, to pay. Uh, when you remind them, they pay. That's the way it works. Really? Yes. Wow. So impressive. So. You know, all I want for this company is for them to recover all their money. Yes. You have to also send a reminder to the many ones, like you said, they need a reminder. Right? Of course. So you yes. send a reminder to them so they can pay the remaining money before work ends today. Huh? Do you have any problem with that? Before work ends? Today. Uh, well. you, you know, you said they need reminder. Yes, reminder. Yes, yeah, so you can remind them. Send the reminder to them so they can pay the money, okay? Uh, of course, we will do that. Yes, like you said, they need reminder. A reminder. They need a reminder. A reminder. Yes. A reminder. Yes. They need a reminder so they can pay the money. I remember before work ends today. So, before work ends today? Yes. They need a reminder. Remember. So the same method you use to remind them, use the same method in this one, so they can pay it faster. Okay? Okay. Yes, they need a reminder. So you can leave, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll catch all of you. Is like this. Does she say anything? 
acting serious. But I'm, I'm, I'm just pissed off. Pissed off. The hardest part of it is that we cannot dispose of anything, any good from this company again. Because they have brought some stupid protocol. This person has to sign. From here, this person signs. This person signs because they need the accountability. So we are just caged in. Look, Maso, I suggest you lie low for now. Hmm? She might start suspecting us if we make any moves now. Let us lie low and uh, watch the witness. I think you're right. I think you're very, very... We we'll lie low and get closer to her. So when we come close enough, we can strike her. I think you're right. Hmm? You have it there. I understand my point. Okay. That's how we're going to do it. Lie low, target her. Yeah. And where is Mrs. Up I'm coming from? From official assignment, of course. Hmm. The way they give you official assignment these days, so I wonder. That is because I'm actively involved in the company's operation. More than before. Really? That's good for you. Hold it there. Just a note of warning. Whatever concerns us, Kindly keep away from it. Please. Anything that has to do with us, if Miss Ferdinand asks you, tell her you do not know. She should call us and ask us directly. Because you do not know. I, I, I can't get it. Honestly, I don't understand. Why two of you suddenly became uncomfortable with the way activities of this company is going. Anyway, we will soon know the hidden agenda. Whatever that is your business. Just mind your business. Mind your business. Dave, must you to answer to every question? Must you talk on every issue? Look, the best thing you could have done is to ignore her. What you are doing now is it, it sounds like true confession that you have something to hide. Why are you telling her, giving her one? Like, ignore her. Do as if she does not even exist. This thing you are doing now, you're upgrading her, you're making her feel so big. Come, let's go where I want to go. Waiting for. Sorry, ma. We are waiting for Mr. Masquerel. Is he not aware of this meeting, or is anything going on? Please, I wouldn't like any delay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. Here you go. I went to answer the call of nature. I'm so sorry. You should have you should have remained in the toilet, and probably we will bring the meeting over there for you. We said that I have just apologized to everybody here. Right. I don't understand how things are being run in this country. Then you ask. Ask the right questions and we will be glad to educate you. I don't need to ask questions because I am not pleased the way things are going here. I mean, how can I be footing bill over five million every week in the name of maintenance? But we have to maintain our machines. We use them, they break down. We I am not disputing the fact that our machines need maintenance. What exactly are you talking about? I believe we have capable hands who can take care of that. I don't have to be doing that every week. I can't be doing that. Every maintenance or acquisition should be end of the month. If there is none in the previous month, then it will be rolled over to the next month. 
You are probably we should go and tell the machines not to spoil until the end of the month. Mm -hmm. We don't have the, the this thing to, to, to do that. We don't, there's no timetable for the time machine will spoil and the time it will not spoil. Mr. Maxwell. Mrs. Maxwell. Saint. Every request and expense should not be brought on my table again until the month ends. You may now leave. Like I always say, no noise. Miss Sakam, stay back, please. This company from the scratch up to this point. Why is she proving so stubborn, so difficult? Why? Let that not upset you. Dave, let that girl not upset you. Now, we have gone so far. Don't let her confuse you or intimidate you in any way. Be focused. Look, I, I, I will deal with that girl. I'll, she, she must run away from this company. Oh, yeah, boss, hey, That's what we are praying for. Ah? I'm bringing all the possible. But, Master, honestly, to tell you the truth, I regret following your advice. Mm -mm. Yes! I regret following your advice. If she had not shown up that day, by now, I'll be cashing out. Yes! Mm -hmm. In fact, I have a plan. I am going to find a way to eliminate her completely. Yes! If, in fact, she might even die before her father. Uh, if you ask me, I would say that's a very good suggestion. Okay. Because I have a plan already moving towards that direction. Mm. No, and I said I wasn't going to tell you until that time comes to be. Then oh, oh, oh. she will melt, she will dissolve. What plan? Do you have? <laughs> tell me the plan. Don't worry. Put your shirt on. Leave your shirt on. Leave your coat on. I'm coming. Don't worry. We need to do something to make her. We are already doing something. Let her evaporate. We are already doing something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. That girl is nothing but a witch, and only God in heaven will help me punish her. Who and what is it again this time? Who else? If not that wicked urchin, that stupid wicked unfortunate and misprepared sacrifice called Chimamanda had the silly gods to restrict the company from giving me my monthly allowance. What her father implemented? But she's the boss now. She is entitled to make any changes. Changes? What changes are you talking about? So her changes is to tamper with my source of livelihood. <sighs> What if her father remains in coma and I'm supposed to renew my rent? Then what will I do? Eh? That girl is such a witch. A wicked witch I have never seen in my life. Calm down. Stop stressing. Don't tell me to calm down, no. Don't tell me because I'm the one paying this rent. You're not the one paying. You're just squatting. If they throw us out, they oust us from this house, you have where you will go. I don't have where to go. So we can go home. I am tired of all this. Please. 
রাজু রাজু husband unto your evil care, even in the sick bed. Holy Spirit, go and touch him in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, please let my husband get back on his feet again. I commit my lovely daughter unto your evil care, Abba Father, Lord. Father, in that office, the work that she is doing, Holy Spirit, please give her the strength to take on this heavy responsibility that you have given to her to do. No evil eyes shall come to her. No evil eyes shall see her. In the name of Jesus, Lord, whatever evil plan is against her from anybody, man or woman, I cast them into the abyss in the name of Jesus. They can never come near my daughter. None of, none of their plans in the name of Jesus can come to fruition in the name of Jesus in her life. But in the name of Jesus, I pray, Holy Spirit, this time, that you protect me and my family. Protect my family, Lord Jesus Christ. Protect us from the evil eyes of the enemies. Protect us from the evil hands of the wicked ones. Father, every man or woman in that office that's planning evil against my daughter, this night, Father, tonight, I burn them to ashes. Father, in the name of Jesus, with the Holy Ghost fire, they shall burn into ashes. In the name of Jesus, no evil shall come near our dwelling. In Jesus' name. Father, whatever be the ailment that's wrong with my husband, Father, tonight, I say he shall rise. In the name of Jesus, Father, there's nothing too small for you to do. Holy Spirit, I pray to you. Holy Spirit, I come before your holy name. Father, take control of my life. Father, take control of my husband's life. Father, take control of my daughter's life. So what are you advising? Honestly, I think doing that is a risky venture. Because it will look as if you're betraying his love and trust. Hmm. You don't expect me to come back begging on the streets after dating a billionaire like Ferdinand. Baby girl, there are other ways to go about this. What other ways? This woman and her daughter are bent on pushing me away just to achieve everything. I've dated Ferdinand for over two years now. And I think that is long enough for me not to achieve anything from him. You have to be careful. So you will not sleep, wake up one day and find yourself in jail. Look on the seat of the MD. Thanks for your compliments. So, how may I help you? I am Mr. Anthony. I'm a customer to your company and I've been transacting business with you people for quite some time, for many years. But lately, I don't understand what is happening. The, your mode of transaction has suddenly changed. I do not understand you, sir. We have not implemented any policy that changed our mode of transaction of this company. Let me explain. I placed order for goods and I did full payment. Accepted, 70% was supplied. But up till this moment, I've not received 30%. I've sent mails, nobody's replying, and nobody's saying anything about it. So, when was this transaction made? That was precisely the 17th of last month. And today is 28th. It's over a month. So, what is happening?
uh, the transaction is not reflecting my record. Okay, wait a minute. In my office now. getting a complaint from Mr. Anthony. Mr. Anthony. Mr. Anthony. Mr. Anthony. I'm trying to recall the Mr. Anthony that uh, you were talking about. Well, this is Mr. Anthony. Okay, you're Anthony. I'm getting a complaint from the company. So what's the name of your company? George Group of Companies Limited. We had a transaction with them on the 17th. The transaction is not yet completed. The goods they ordered were undersupplied. I'm not getting the mail from the company. And the transaction is not reflecting here. Why? I don't know. Uh, I may not be in a position to answer. I think Dave will be in a better position because it is directly under under his uh, department. Really? Yes, yes, I think so. Okay. Call him. Okay. Immediately. a problem. What kind of problem? The MD of uh, 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 this company, George Group of Companies, uh -huh. is here. Who is, who is that? Anthony. The one, Mr. Anthony. We, the ones we supplied, that the company we supplied the, uh, uh, some materials we didn't finish supply. You know, they, I've been singing this since they let us go and complete their order. Now she's here. What, like, what are we going to do? But uh, how, how, how are we supposed to accomplish all that? Yeah? We do supply those things. This little witch changed everything. Changed everything. Okay, where do we explain to Mrs. Safam that we are taking these goods to? Besides, uh, this company is not the only one we, we, we were supposed to settle. Huh? Anyway, that little witch is waiting for you. She said I should call you. So I can't answer. Well, uh, I think I can convince her. Yes. Yes. Dave, I'll... that's why, why I quarrel with you, Moses. If I am looking like you, look at you, you kind of wicked mustache like Hitler. If I will intimidate her with my mustache. Uh, well, you know, she's she, she, a witch. <laughs> Witches don't fear mustaches, yeah? Then uh, go and scrape it off, man. It has no effect. Yeah, at least I use it too. But that witch, anyway, maybe I will apply something. But I will convince her. Yeah? Don't convince her, intimidate her. I, I think I will do that. But why would this man come here? What, what brought him here? Why would he come here? Why would he come here? We did not complete what we said we were going to complete it. Use your head. Don't have a mustache here. But the mustache is important. You don't understand. It's not going to get well. Your own is of no use. It's of use. That's why you, why you don't have it. That's why you don't have it. You cannot this small girl with this. If I had that this thing, Hitler would be even like a, a cat case to me. You are, you are the Reverend Father. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jesa, go and answer your call. And don't mention my name, Dale. Why is this thing happening now? Mr. Dave, are you trying to tell me that you didn't supply any goods to that company? Because the information before me said that you supplied less than what they requested for. And they are here to claim their remaining goods. More so, the record of this transaction is not reflecting in my income transaction. How come? Uh, uh, ma, you see, uh, by, by, uh, I, I mean, uh, I was, uh, uh, you see, 
the 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 this this uh, okay you see i i uh, i i remember you see uh, uh, by the time the uh, shot speak properly I, I it was mistakenly omitted i mistakenly omitted the 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 the, the record the, the the transaction of sorry record of the transaction in the uh, statement uh, story statement of the record of the transaction uh -huh. Uh, because by the time he he, he had paid, uh, by the time he, he sorry, by the time he paid, uh, we already prepared the the the, 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 the I mean the, the statement of uh, the, the month, uh, the statement of the month. We already prepared it. So 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 so, so, so uh, uh, it was omitted. It was a m m mistake. It was a m mistake. I'm sorry, ma. Oh, we, 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 we can. I mean, uh, sorry. Correct it. Really? Mm -hmm. So you didn't forget to meet your own salary, right? Wait a minute. I do not understand what is going on here. All I want is that you complete the stock I ordered for. I need it to be complete. It appears the company does not even know anything about this transaction. Is that how you work here? Is it the kind of representative you have? I'm so sorry, Mr. Anthony. I'm so, so sorry for the inconveniences. We have other stocks in our warehouse, but they are already paid for. I promise you, you will get a refund within this week. Please. It will never happen again. It's okay. I'm expecting a refund to my company's account. And that's all I care, yeah. Good day. Uh, you see, ma'am. Not a word, Mr. Dave. You heard what I said. So do exactly as I said. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. Because you'll be sacked this time around if you don't do it well. Get out! She, she's She's a super child It's one of our kind Oh, 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 yeah She's intelligent and jealous and So smart, yeah Honestly, I'm so surprised at the kind of things I keep finding out about those men hmm. I wonder how Dad cope with them Anyways you don't have to worry yourself too much about all of that, all right? Just go ahead and do the needful immediately. You okay. have all the power, my dear. I will. Um, you sure you don't have to go home to get anything else? No, no, no. Everything I need is here. Okay, that's fine. Um, it's already getting late. We should be leaving now. Come. Okay. Let us wait. Heavenly Father, we come before your holy presence. Father, in the name of Jesus, we commit our dear father and husband into your evil care. Lord, I know that even now that he's still on his sick bed, I know you are working your miracle in him. I know that you are touching every part of his body. Father, we pray for your healing powers. Lord, we pray that before in no time, Lord, our daddy and husband will be up on his feet again. And we'll have cause to praise your holy name. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I am having this meeting because of the way things have been run this country. I don't like it, I am not happy with it, and it is not right. Imagine Mr. Maxwell being the head of sales and operations telling me that he omits a transaction from the income statement. How come? Why? How are we supposed to progress with this kind of errors? At least we should know when we're making loss and when we're making profit. I find this act highly unprofessional. And I do not want it to repeat itself again. More so, in the same year, I've seen up to more than three different financial reports. Why? I think the company's accountant is supposed to be in on this table. Where is he? He is on leave. That is my seat you're sitting on, Jim Amanda. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Who are you? Hello, lady and gentlemen. My name is Mirabel Johnson and I am the co-owner of this company. Decisions cannot be made without me being present. Are you okay? You don't even behave like someone who is okay. You behave and sound like someone who is just coming up from the asylum. Anyways, I have the legal document here. And hey, I am not here to joke with you, so learn some manners. I want you both to tell me what you know about this. See, honestly, your father never mentioned any of this to us. And he did, never did. No, he, no, he never did. Uh, you know, but we know that both of them were into a very close relationship. Mm -hmm. Very intimate, very close. And in such a situation, anything can uh, emanate from such closeness. Of course, of course. With their level of intimacy. Uh, I think she's not happy. God, your father is always with her in the office and all that and all that and all that. Look, I think we should, we should, uh, my, my own suggestion, if you ask me, we should um, concentrate on the document or review the document. Why? How will my father make his concubine a co owner of our company? It's terrible. Terrible. Come on, Larry. No. It's not possible. I can't believe this. No, not the phone. I'm saying, can we look at the documents? Yes. You know, second time, thoroughly. Hello, barrister. Well, Dr. Ferdinand proposed that I run this company with him. And then he made me an offer to become a co-owner with him. I mean, it was a fair offer, so I accepted. Let's say more like a compensation for running the company with him. Why? How can my father take such decisions? How? Anyways, it's so sad that your father, my beloved, is not here to answer you all that. But what I will not take from you and your mother is to have you both run this company down. That will never happen. And moreover, your mother is even one woman he doesn't want to set his precious the eyes very on. Every next time you mention my mother's name in this meeting, I promise you, you will not complete your statement before I will shut that stupid thing you come out. Are you mad? What is wrong with you? Chikima Manda, I need you to stay calm. You need to respect my very presence here. I am your father, legal aid. And I'm representing his legal trust. I will not have anyone insult my client. Uh -uh. I mean, that's the legal document you're holding right there. Take a very good look at it. And the signature there, I think that signature is uh, uh, Ferdinand's uh, the signature. There's no doubt yeah, about it. Uh, but, uh, wow. Sorry, these are real clear evidence. No, look, look. Yeah, it is. I is. Uh, Dr. Fidna never told me anything about this. I guess I was totally out of town. Anyways, he was going to inform the board. Not until the unfortunate incident happened to him. Madam, please. I suggest both of you run the companies together. I mean, okay. put us together, you know, Reach an agreement, you know, get to know each other well and do things amicably so that not be wrinkles or issues or any other. So, what are you trying to say? I think what she's trying to say is that um, no one among the two of you can run these things unilaterally. You have to agree. You know, 
you cannot do anything without uh, her being there. She cannot do anything without her being there. Well, since uh, both of you are uh, co-owners, yeah, co-owners, both of you are managing directors. Yeah, maybe we have to put two chairs here, yeah, two managing directors chairs, one for you, one for her. Yeah, or maybe no, she can have two yeah, seater. Yeah, that's that's what, okay. Two, two seater here, yeah, accommodate seater. the two of them. One seater. Uh, but one but seater. the fact that no one takes any decision without one that's consent. Well, the truth of the matter is you may proceed if you choose to do so. But whilst your investigation is going on, my clients will assume a position. That's right. No, what you are saying is that not even assume the two of them so that we don't create quarrel here. Mm -hmm. We can bring a two-seater seat. You will be at the back of this and the lawyer will be at the back. That will not be possible. Don't you just calm down? <sighs> calm down. You, you, you're too angry. Trust me, you cannot get a solution like this. That lady is lying. The most painful part of it, she forged a legal document convincing everyone. Why would that make such decisions without telling anyone? Why? It can't be true. It can't. Look, I, I understand how you feel. Okay? But don't forget that your father was really into that girl. So she might be telling the truth. Why? Chimamanda, you have to thread with caution. Okay? She's a stranger, so why would he make such decisions? Why? I don't believe my father can take such decision. I can never believe. Calm down. All right, my baby, calm down. Calm down. You don't understand me. You don't understand how I feel right now. You Darling. don't. That lady won't ruin my effort in the company. My darling, don't you trust your mother anymore? If I tell you, it will be fine. It will be fine. Come here. Now, where is my strong girl? Is she here with me? Is my strong girl here with me? What did I tell you about Maribel? That she's a small what? Fry. That Maribel is a small what? Fry. Small fry. And that's what she will remain in every situation. Do not ever forget that, okay? It's all about fine. So how did it go? Eh? Hey, you needed to have seen the surprise and shock written all over her face. My girl, the drama in that office is about to unfold. She was even forced to call her lawyer. Mm. And what did the barrister say? <sighs> what more could he have said? I mean, she has her own barrister, I have my own barrister. So let's just say it's a thing of barrister versus barrister, civilian versus civilian. <laughs> but, hey, that is not even the most important thing right now. The most important thing is that your babe is the co-owner of the company with my legal documents, baby! <laughs> wahala. Okay, wait. Oh, God. If this man now should just recover, like if he gets up now, how do you think he's going to see you? Hmm? Come on. Come. We're not talking about malaria. Or... Neither are we talking about typhoid. This is coma. C O M A. Van. Coma. And from what I know, he's not getting up anytime soon from there. That's if he even survives it. Mm. My girl, 
Anyway, I can see that your mind is made up. So that's your body just be seated. Ta, 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 ta. Your, your body just be vibrate things. You just have to be careful since your mind is made up. But I want you to think about this. Remember Matthew 7, 12. Mm. I see. Mary of Magdala, the preacher, <laughs> daughter of Judas Iscariot. <laughs> Should I also remind you about Matthew eleven twelve? Hmm. It's every way the good Bible. <laughs> see, 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 see this one. See this one. I beg see, my I tell you, eh? If you no follow your friend with the scheme, scheme. If you no support them, when that thing enter for your friend, your friend not supposed to show you love. I beg you. Let's go. Let's tell you the truth. I go. Let's tell you the truth. Go tell see this one. See this one. See this one. <laughs> I'm paying for hot. Yeah. My economy don't give me this. No, go bring wine. I know that you're leveling it. So, Barista. Yes, please. What do you have to say about what happened earlier at the office? Hmm. Honestly, I know there is a legal document to back up their claims. But I do not believe her. Your father is my very good friend. There is no how he can make such decision without telling me. I know he's interested in getting married to her. But the issue of co-ownership, I'm in the dark. I want to file a case. Because I have searched everywhere possible. But I can't find the document. If the legal transaction occurred, my father should have a copy of it. Um, you see, Chiamanda, let me further educate you on this. This is a very trivial case that requires an utmost caution. We have to be very careful. Calm down. Let's give us some time. We might be lucky enough to stumble on something very interesting. You mean... Something implicating. Exactly. That is it. You see, you cannot file a case right now against them. And then you don't have an, an evidence to back up your claim. You understand? And in four rounds to this, except you're willing to have her arrested, and then you allow the police to go ahead with the investigation. Then again, let's look at it from this other angle. After the investigation, they are not found guilty. There are consequences for that. You see why we have to tread gently? Honestly, this is not what I bargained for. I can understand your plight. It's only a matter of time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now that we are complete, let's proceed. So, I sat down and I thought of better ways to boost our company's operations. First, I suggest we diversify. Fantastic. Thank you. Then probably load more products and later we can think of getting more branches. Beautiful. That's good. <laughs> That's fantastic. Very Honestly. creative. Yeah, excuse me, madam. This is an expensive venture. More of capital projects. Eh? I was thinking you, you are going to bring out ideas that will boost our operation based on the source we have already. Eh? 
Look, 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 look. Develop your senses. She's taking international and taking local. Are we that poor? In this in this establishment? Look at her. Uh, uh, Mr. Maxwell, be, be careful with me. John, they are not pressing forward, they're not pressing backward. Can't you keep quiet? Hey! This is Afam. That was only a suggestion. And please, when next I'm talking, do not think of interrupting me. Have I made myself clear? Sorry. Very good. No Very sense. Good. Like I was saying. Chimamanda. Why would you leave a meeting that I called like that? You called us who? Well, if you must know, meeting caller. What? You were so clueless. You don't know anything about running a cotton. It's just a waste of time listening to your dumb sentence. I never knew you were this dumb. <laughs> Isn't it obvious that you don't like seeing this beautiful face all the time? Guess what? You will have to deal with it because you're going to be seeing this face every day in this office. Rubbish. Showing you inside you got us where you belong. That is the drama that has been happening in the general office. Hey! That is. I don't know what I'm Come. You see why I call you the master planner? I am. How did you come up with such a brilliant idea? No, it's not far fetched, though. I figured that that girl, the only thing that will make her cool down on one side mm. is to get her distracted. Okay. Just one distraction, she will leave us. Then I planned to bring in Mirabel. So while they are hitting and punching themselves, we'll be busy playing our own ground. That was why I had to bring Mirabel. <laughs> hey! Uh, so, what is the next plan now? What, what next? See, let this distraction go on for the time being. Hmm? So that she will be so much engaged. And we will be planning her own while they are quarreling. And I will make sure that every decision that Mirabel is going to take will favor us. Good. You understand? Good. Uh -huh. Ha! Eba. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I owe you three bottles. <laughs> I owe you four. <laughs> <laughs> so baby girl, how was work today? How was the office today? <sighs> Honestly, it was not funny at all. That little girl is really prepared. I tell you. <laughs> wow. You know, sometimes I wonder how she's able to manage and handle the company. What do you expect from a witch? You have not seen a witch before. A witch can do unimaginable things. No matter their size, be it tall, be it short, what matters is that a witch is a witch. And she's a witch. It's, it's not about her being a witch. I think that girl is divinely gifted. Yeah. Mm. I think so. <laughs> okay. She's divinely gifted. And me, I'm not divinely gifted. But I'm beautifully gifted. <laughs> and I will use my beauty and manipulate her. But come to think of it, babes. With the way things are going, I think I'm in for more troubles than I bargained. 
You need to see how this girl talks to me in the office, how she comports herself, how she addresses me in the office. Me, Mirabel. <laughs> that little Chimamanda. <laughs> Please. Don't imagine. It's just like it's just like David and Goliath in the Bible. <laughs> oh, hold on. So you they try to tell me, say that small girl they booga for you. Be <laughs> small booga. If she see kiss Daniel, she go beat her. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl is your world. Enjoy. I know. I know. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> see, what I'm trying to let you know is that uh, usually. I always go with uh, Mr. Maxwell to represent the company. Not anymore. Like I said, Mrs. Arthur and the secretary will go and represent us. Oh, Why that? you and Mr. Maxwell stay back and face your work? Understand what I'm saying, ma. You see, these people are inexperienced. Uh, the two people that you, you are sending, Mr. Maxwell and I, we know everything about the business of this company, okay? When we go, we represent the company very, very well. So, we have to go and represent the company. Sorry, sir. It's done that way. We were doing it from the beginning, even when your father was here. Sorry, Mr. Dave. Not anymore. I want to change the custom, okay? Mrs. Zafam. Yes, ma'am. Ask Miss Martha to go with you. Uh, you see, I, I, I want you to understand what I'm saying. I'm not interrupting you or by any means undermining your authority. No, I'm not doing that. What I'm saying is this. You have to understand where, where I'm coming from. Yeah? This, my viewpoint, okay? We, we have not, we have always done it this way. So it me! You don't tell me what to do. I'm not telling you what to do. I want you, I, I want you to understand the standpoint from where I'm coming. Okay? I've, we've done this from the days of your father. I know that's, that's... Enough. Mr. Dave, with all due respect for your age, I want you to leave my office. You leave your office? Yeah. Right now. Uh, Mr. Dave, please leave. Stop stressing her. Huh? Leave. Uh, ma, 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 let me go and get ready. Get ready to go where? Prepare to go where? Do you know where I'm going to? Do you not know want to say when you get there? Eh? Listen, ma. Listen, see, Mr. Maxwell and I know exactly what to say yeah. and what to do there. That's what I'm saying. Listen, listen, to, listen to me first. Oh, what, what's up what I'm saying? This woman and whoever you're sending, they don't know anything. They don't know their left or their right. That's what I'm telling you. So, let them stay. Let's go. Let Mr. Maxwell and I go and represent this company. Otherwise, look, you, you'll be jeopardizing the opportunities of this company. Mr. Dave! Oh, you, you understand what I'm saying? Leave my office. Thank you. Where exactly do you think you are going? What sort of nonsense, useless question is that? Are you deaf? Hmm? We are you not there when Miss Fredman asked me to go alongside with Miss Mata to represent our company? We are you not there? Eh? Wait. Good night, Judifa. Wait. Go and represent the company. As what? <laughs> no, as what? What do you know about this company? No, hold on. Why did you join this company? I see what you mean. Excuse me. You go there to represent the company, and when they ask you questions, what will you say? What will you answer? You know nothing about this company. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right. And you want to go and represent the company. You think it, 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 it happens like that? You just want to go and represent the company. Just like that. Eh? Represent the company. Is that what you're going to do? Mr. Dave, uh -huh. whatever you think. If I like, I'll go and represent the company. Hmm? Yes! Let me go and represent the company. If you have an issue, go and settle it with Miss Ferdinand. Don't you dare near me. Don't you just... I don't even need your problem. I don't want them. I don't want your wahala. Stay your lane. Stay your lane. Hold on, I'm still talking. Look at you. Ha! Ah! You want to go and represent? That's all. You think it's done like that? Look at these people. 
What do you, you don't know your left from your right, your front from your back. You don't know anything. You want to go and represent the company. You think it's like that? Ha! This girl wants to spoil this company. Fred Nice said we should go to the meeting together. I'm aware, but Miss Mirabel asked me to bring this fight for her in 30 minutes. I told her that Miss Ferdinand asked me I need to go for a meeting, but she said she can handle it. I don't know why she's doing this. But I really have to go. I will tell Miss Ferdinand that I had, I had to go alone. Okay, that's fine, please. Let me run alone. I don't want to go late. All right. What is it? Eh? I am supposed to go with what this What is what and which is which? What are you talking about? I am supposed to go for a meeting with this car. To the meeting, eh? The meeting venue. The same meeting we are going to. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. So yes, that is it. Miss Mirabel has sent the two of us to go to that meeting and represent. No. But, but, but Miss Ferdinand asked me and Miss Mata to go for the meeting. Well, there is a new development and this is it. Eh? So go and tell her. Go and relate to Miss Fedman. Tell her that this is what yes. I just opened up. Yes. I'm on my way to your office. This is Alfred. Is the meeting postponed? Uh, not at all. I was changing plan. Miss Mirabel instructed Mr. Maxwell and Mr. David to go and represent the company instead. What? What nonsense? I yet to see you on the second to go and represent the company. But she feels otherwise. What is wrong with that lady? I, I, I don't know. I can't tell. So how is she to flaunt my orders? <laughs> Mrs. Afam and the secretary to go represent us. So why did you tell Mr. Dave and Mr. Maxwell to go instead? I owe you no explanation. And I am not answerable to you. You seem to have forgotten that you and I occupy the same key position in this company. Chimamanda, if you can make decisions without telling me, then I can equally do the same. Wait, are we in some sort of competition or what? <laughs> you can just call it whatever you deem fit. It's actually not my business. Just remember that I am not answerable to you. Excuse me. Before you excuse your already excused self, just know that I am Chimamanda, mm -hmm. a child who is fearless and has much grace. I will unmask all you are doing and deal with you so decisively that you will regret doing all this in the first place. Now, young lady, you can excuse yourself. <laughs> okay. If I don't kill you for winning this, it will lead to something else. I don't trust Mr. Dave and Mr. Max. 
I look like this together. She's a super child. So smart, yeah. Oh, yeah. She is one of a kind. Oh. oh, yeah, oh, yeah. She's a super child. AI. Don't underrate her intelligence. She is smart and bold, just like an adult. Yeah, she knows what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. She is like a pro, a professional in what she do. Miss Intelligence. Why are you looking so worried? It's the office. Mirabe is causing more harm than good. She's trying all her possible best to frustrate me. <laughs> come, 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 come. <laughs> I understand, okay? But you don't have to let this weigh you down. Come. Haven't you ever heard of the saying that when the going gets tough, the tough gets going? I understand what you can do, okay? But do not let this weigh you down. Don't be stressed. Well, you know, sometimes one needs to think properly before taking any kind of action. <sighs> Amanda, you are right, okay? I agree totally with you on this one. But let me tell you something. I know my daughter. And I know you have got this. You have this. Alright, come here. You have it. Do not even let, don't let it stress you in any way. I know you can handle this. <laughs> Maribel is a small fry. Maribel is a small fry. Don't even stress yourself, okay? Don't. You'll be fine. You will be fine. Look at me. I want you to repeat this after me. Mirabel, you are a small fry. Say it. Mirabel, you are a small fry. Again. Mirabel, you are a small fry. Now talk to her. Mirabel, you are a small fry. Good, keep going. Mirabel, you are a small fry. That's my daughter. Mirabel, you are a small fry. Good. That's the attitude I want you to have. Okay, when you deal with that girl. She's nothing. She's from the trenches. She cannot do anything to my daughter because you are the daughter of a king and the daughter of a queen. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes. Good. Good. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. Have you seen my girl? Babes? I don't know where all this is going to. This is really tougher than I thought. Baby girl. It is not too late to back out. This game you are playing is too dangerous. You know I will always warn you. You just have to back out. Please. I'm going out. I have a date. And I don't want to come back and see this moody face. Okay? Cheer up. Please. Vicky is actually right. I need to speak with Mr. Maxwell to discuss all this. Because this is becoming tougher. It's becoming dangerous for me and I don't like it. Honestly, the heat in the office is getting too much. That little girl's energy is second to none. I feel we should just act fast, Mr. Maxwell. What's the plan? Tell me. Mirabel. Why are you jittery? 
the girl's energy. That girl is one third of you in size. Why should her energy be beyond? Why are you afraid of her energy? Look, we know what we are planning. With you on our side, we have this company signed, sealed, and about to be delivered. Do you understand what I'm saying? Trust us. <laughs> Mr. Maxwell, I, I, I know why I, I agreed to all this in the first place. It's because of the cash involved. Because, come on, this is incriminating. What if she finds out about the fake documents? You both know how and what we planned. Are you sure you don't want anything to go with it? No, thank you. Maybe chicken, chips? No, this is just perfect. This is fine. All right. Yeah. Um, Mr. Maxwell. Yes. I'm really surprised that you called me out. <laughs> Why would it surprise you? You're a beautiful girl. Any man who is in his right senses can decide to take you out even at this point of a moment. Okay? <laughs> but really, I am here because I want to discuss something very important with you. Okay. I'm here, yes. Yes. You know the condition of uh, our boss, your beloved. <laughs> and uh, you know the situation in his family and all that and all that. And even in the company, I'm sure you must have had one or two things that are going on in the company. Yes, I'm also aware of how his daughter manages the company and the affairs of the company. No, she hasn't started managing the company. And that's why we want to bring you in. We want you to come in and contest for that space. Instead of just giving it to her on the platter. Good. Me? Yes, after all, you <laughs> suffered for the man. You made this man happy when he was very unhappy. Mr. So you should, you should rip the gain of your sweat. Uh, Mr. Mr. Maxwell, I'm sorry, but this whole thing is confusing. It's not confusing. Why is it confusing? This is a man you helped. You made this man very, very happy. You know, he was uh, nearly was brought to an end by, you know, his other wife. And then you came into his life. He started shining again. So there is something you have. Look, we're here to make you rich because you deserve it. To be honest with you. <laughs> How? You want to make me rich? How? This this thing is also confusing again. And please, I do not want anything that will land me into trouble. Nothing is going to land you into trouble. Rewind. You suffered for Ferdinand. When you were close to this man, you were doing everything. I'm sure he must have made you some promises, which he did not fulfill. We now want to fulfill those promises he's made because he's incapacitated. So we want you to come into this very space. You don't have anything to fear. You are the executive of that very company. And when we say push, we push, nobody pushes us. Okay? Ponder over it. Think about it. What we are doing is so risky. I, I feel we should carry out with the main plan. At least achieve what we intend to achieve. And then everybody goes without us getting caught. I'm surprised <clears throat> at you, Jitri, as you fretting. For this small girl, see this miniature little girl. I'm bet. You are getting the look. I brought you into this. And if I'm not sure, I wouldn't bring you into it. Trust me. Keep your wrapper on. We know what. Look, these two people are gurus. In planning, and we have been in this company for a very long time. We know the XYZ of this company. Do you understand? You're frowning, and I don't know what your why your fear, where your fear is coming from. What? I, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. This girl is planning something huge that is unknown to us, and we need to tread carefully. We know that is why we are trading. That's why we are trading now. Wherever she goes, we are in the know. Besides. We are steps. I mean, steps ahead of her. Of course. Of course, she tells us that we're already taking time. No worry. Please forget that. No. Keep your rapper on, Mirabel. Keep your rapper on. What are you 
even in my office. I am yet to get my own space, so I decided to share yours. It will never happen. The conference room is there for you. So don't you ever come to my office again. Come on. Relax. Why are you acting as if I've committed a taboo? Leave my office. And if I don't? Then I'll have to call the security. <laughs> choose to come in and go out of this office anytime I like. Do you get that? Martha! Martha! Why did you let her in my office? Miss Fadley, I'm sorry. I couldn't have stopped her. Really? You let the stupid girl into my office and you're telling me you couldn't have stopped her. Are you being serious right now? Huh? I'm sorry, ma'am. Please forgive me. Don't be sorry. Miss Fredner, what's the problem? I came in this morning and I met that stupid girl that calls herself Mirabel in my office. And here is the secretary telling me that she couldn't have stopped her. Miss Pregnant, please, we are sorry. Forgive her. This will not repeat itself again, please. I'm apologizing on her behalf, please. You know what? All of you are pissing me off. No! You should have stopped her. Why did you to stop her? Huh? Huh? <coughs> Mrs. Abraham, my secretary for you. Don't forget. Secretary, my own for here. This office now to carry five, drop them. For to start, drop them. Now only need for this office when they be sack at any time. You say I for stop her. Secretary, secretary, now you are The only I for stop them. As far say I be police, I be vigilante. Why I be more pull now? No, I for I for pull at at waist. Make she no go inside. I beg. Anything when I not just they do, make I just they do. Make I not just carry and come here at all. Now secretary I be. Now I want to go and come. Ah, I don't even forget what I need to say. Which what are they find now? I do not know what's wrong with that little girl. I'm sure you know that girl dislikes you. I don't even know why you make things worse by showing up every day in that office. To be candid with you. He's been one trouble to another in that office. So exhausting. Mm, how about um, Chief? Have you gone to the hospital to check up on him? I have not, oh. Mm. And I really wonder how he's faring. But honestly, I have already lost hope. <laughs> I'm telling you. I don't think so. I, I mean, I don't think you have anything bothering you. Because if you do, I don't see why you should be, you know, going to the office all the time to tolerate all that rubbish from that little girl. I don't see. Vicky, you're supposed to be my friend. But tell me, whose side are you on? side of the positive truth. Baby girl, I will always tell you the truth. I will never lie to you. That girl is taking responsibility. Yes, she is simply doing what is right. You know what? I'm tired. I refuse to sit down here and listen to your bald head that shit. Oh yeah. It's yours. You always run away from the truth. You know what? It's not for one thing, eh? I for you to hit your head, make you forget sense. 
You're supposed to be my friend, and yet you're picking sides with people who don't even know you exist. What is wrong with you? I'm picking sides with the truth. Oh, yes. really? Yes. Madam Truth, yes. you're picking sides with the truth. No. And what is the truth? Eh? You're allowing that little girl to insult me, and instead of to say something positive, you're saying nonsense. I'm ashamed to call you my friend. Are you even a friend or an enemy? It's yours. I'm just being honest with you, baby girl. Why are you always running away? Why are you always itching when I tell you the facts? <gasps> always running away from the truth. I'm tired of you already. I'm sorry, Mr. Damien. You can't accept that proposal. This is like the third time I'm seeing this proposal on my table. It's so risky, and her company can't take such risk. Uh, you see, there is no business without an element of risk. I know, but I can't take such risk for my company. Uh. Okay. Let's buy some shares in your company. In that way, you'll be rest assured that we all are investing our capital on this. I think. So that before I know it, your company will have the biggest shares in my company. Uh, no, it's not what you think. I know the game. Don't worry, we are not interested. There are other bigger companies where you can buy, but for this company, we are not interested. I, I feel your company is the right company to do business with. Sorry, sir. Before you came in, I was busy. So I want to go back. Excuse me. Come. How, how did it go? It, it didn't go well. Despite the readjustment of the proposal, she still insisted that there is no form for such contract. Does it mean she doesn't want your company and our company to collaborate? That is the point. What is wrong with her? You know what? Don't worry. I'm going to make it work. Hmm? I'm going to make sure she approves whatever is supposed to be approved for this thing to go. Trust me. But you know I will need my percentage. Oh, oh, see, there is no problem. I promise I will give you 15%. Because the company will be collecting 60%. And, right. and we'll just be left with 40%. That would be good. 15% will be good for me. Hmm? Uh, yeah, well, thank you. Thank no. you very much. I'll be waiting. Eh? Yeah. No, no, no. I will be in touch with you. All right. Oh. Chimamanda, I insist we accept Mr. Damien's offer. I mean, this business proposal is so juicy to reject. It's good. You know, I don't know why I'm talked with that mind like yours. How can you borrow funds to do such projects? How? Have you forgotten that those companies are Smaller companies, why will you borrow funds for that project? Ha! Hmm. I don't know why these offers keep coming and I keep rejecting them, but hell no. Chimamanda, you know nothing. You're clueless when it comes to running a company. Mm. I should be the one telling you how these things are done. Oh. Listen. We are going to accept Mr. Damien's business proposal and we are going to fund it. Do you understand? And I say, Gina Amanda is saying that I will not do it. There is no way I am going to do it. Uh, 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 Miss MD, please remember this. Our company is going to get 70%. 70% of the entire have you, have you thought of it? A package. A beautiful one. Tell her. Why would you miss it? For goodness sake, well, think about it. 
What's wrong with you? There is nothing you can make me accept this offer. Uh, well, um, uh, let me let me quickly remind you. Let me quickly, very quickly remind you that uh, you don't have the final say on this matter. That's the truth. Mirabel is here. Yes. She is a co-MD with you. A co-CEO. So do not think you can stamp your feet and say, I will not do this. No. She also has a say on this. So. Co-owner. So don't even think of sidelining me. Do you understand? I feel that Mirabel of a lady is up to something. Yes. And Mr. Dave and Mr. Maswell are not even doing anything about it. Huh. I noticed that too. That Mirabel wants to frustrate the little girl, but she will not succeed. She will never succeed. Anyway, we are all in this company together. We will see how things go. My dear, you are right. Um, let me get to my office. I'll send some documents to you. Yeah? Okay. Help me and put them out. Okay, okay. Yes, ma'am. Tired of this whole game, guys. Honestly, you both should just pay me off. Let me find my way. Let me go my way. Mirabel. Mirabel. There's no way you can abandon this whole project now that we are close to achieving our, our goals. Huh? We're well, almost on the finish line. I mean, focus on your money. The money you're going to make from this uh, thing. Forget all these things. You're, you're talking about we've been almost at the finish line. Yes. But this whole thing is exhausting. I have an idea. Hmm? Really present it. I want to listen carefully and think about it. We are going to sell off Mirabel's shares. The shares were allocated to her. You know, that mm -hmm. that document. Mm -hmm. Then we can sell our own shares too. And then the company will shrink. Then let me see how that will you start dragging her. She wants to answer CEO. Are you sure? Okay. Let's go about the data and go. Okay, that's good though. That's a good suggestion. Mm -hmm. I hope all these shares are documented. That's what I'm saying now. Uh, those documents, everything is there now. Like I own now, uh, the documents we submitted is there. So Mirabel, let's do it. Relax. We're at the finish line. We'll soon get this in over and then you will have yourself. You will not regret these things. The darkest hour of the night is just before the dawn. Good. Just and before dawn. The dawn. Okay. Okay. So how do we get someone to buy it ASAP? Ah, <laughs> that is not a problem. We we'll use Damien. If not Damien, there are other people oh, that we can use. Yeah, but even though we need to, even if we, we need to borrow money, yeah, borrow we money can. Elsewhere and then use it to buy it. We are, we are still the ones buying the whole thing. Yeah? Come on, even smile. When the, even, smile. The, even, the, even the witch wants smile. to smile. You are a beautiful lady. Yeah? Buy everything. It's a big no business. Company. I'm yeah. the one in trouble. No, we are not the in one trouble. Running heta skater. I'm the one. Please say we put you in trouble. We'll get you out of trouble. Simple. Equal and opposite. <laughs> Even a lawyer. An ordinary vendor. A new super seller.
Hello, uh, hey, Miss Ferdinand. Hey, madam, there is a development. There is a development. Oh. And there, there is no problem. Hey, madam, I need to come to the house and tell you. Yes. I'm coming down still to your house to tell you. Madam, please wait for me. Eh? You will like the story. Hey, baby. Don't worry, everything is going perfectly as planned. But there is a new and better development. They are buying more shares for a customer. And once the payment is made, I will move ASAP before they would even understand what is going on. Office is coming, please. You stupid, hungry, retarded fool. We know what is going on. Officers, please do your job. Good day, woman. Good day, sir. You are under arrest. What, what, what have I done? For forgery and impersonation. Forgery and impersonation? That's not true! It's not me! You have every right to remain silent. Because whatever you say will be used against you. Uh, no, sir. Listen, I, I think there is a mix up somewhere. There is a mix up somewhere. No, 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 no. no so you're mistaken. Hey, you okay. She will not dare talk to this people. Oh, 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 my legs. No. It's real. How can you arrest a beautiful girl like me? Obey the simple ah. instruction. Don't let me divorce you. Did I call her lady? This girl, this baby, this witch, always taking drastic actions that are ten times taller than she is. Yeah? Why would she go and, do, 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 and arrest Mirabel? For what? That is what I've been thinking about. Yeah? I was under the impression that uh, the, the legal document was enough to solve all these problems. Why would she turn around to arrest her? And, uh, I... We need to do something fast. Otherwise, she might implicate us. Mm -mm. It will not work for, for her. You know what we're going to do? Let us go and find out more. Let's go and find out her plans. What she intends to do, how she plans to do, so that we know how to follow her. And then, know what her plans are about going to release uh, Mirabel on, on, on bail. Because if Mirabel, uh, uh, if they break her, we're broken. In fact, you go. You know, I have a very hot temper. This girl may say something that will warrant my carrying her and throwing her outside the window. You are calmer. You are cooler. Even though you look more fierce than I, than I am with this your mustache. Go there. Talk to her before I come. Look, I'm a feather girl. I'm a feather This is too much. Who could need to bring the future? In future tense, ma, ma, unga, unga, feyajo. Use whatever you have, feyajo. From all indication, you are stressed. <coughs> Doctor, I don't know. 
Yeah, I mean, I've been very good all morning. I just don't understand why I feel so feverish now. You need to come with me. I need to run a check on you. All right, but um, I, I, I actually have to wait for my daughter to come first. And so when she takes over from me. No, we can't wait for her before it thunks the emergency. Please, you need to come. <coughs> come with me. Nothing too serious. She was too stressed. I gave her drugs and asked her to take a good rest. Probably she's not used to stress like this. No one is used to it. Okay, what happened? What is calm going down, to happen calm to down, her? Calm down. It's normal. I actually asked her to go home. My nurses and I are capable. But she insisted on waiting for you. Okay, so. What's next? You need to calm down. I want you to take good care of yourself. See, let's be positive. Your dad will be fine. Okay, thank you so much. So I can be going. No problem. Don't panic. It's what? Financy. Just a little stressed. So. Come on, Flora. This is beyond little. Mm. You're not looking good at all. You look so unkept. <laughs> <coughs> I'm you know, I've been back and forth the hospital taking care of Ferdinand. So, oh, this is sad story. I'm fine. I'm so sorry. Hmm? Sad story. I need to take you to the hospital so that you can take proper medication. <coughs> no. No, it's no, easy. Easy. <coughs> easy. Huh? easy. Yeah, I just um, I just uh, didn't want to be alone, that's why I called you. <coughs> the doctor already gave me some medications at the, the doctor at the hospital. Okay. Mm -hmm. He ran some checks on me, he said I was Stressed and needed some rest. Mm, obviously, you're stressed. You know, you ask me, I think you should take a break. Take some rest, Flora, and take things easy. Mm? Take things easy, please. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very well, Auntie. Mm. You're doing a pretty bad job. This is not how to go about it. <coughs> sorry. Sorry. You know, um. Have you eaten something? Let me go get you something to eat so that you can take the rest of your medication. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you. Take it easy, Flora. Thank you. <coughs> Flora, what's going on? Good morning. Good morning, Flora. The last time I checked, you were sick. I had to stay off work so that I can take care of you. I know. And now you are dressed to go out. What's going on? I know, Auntie, but I have to rush to the hospital, okay? I have to go give Shimamanda food. You Flora. know she hardly goes home now. She's always at the hospital. Flora. Auntie, I know. Let me hurry, okay? Okay, okay, okay. I need to hurry and mm. get to her before she leaves the office. You take care of yourself, eh? I don't even know what to say to you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Good morning, my 
bien. Before you leave. No, thank you. I'll eat at the office. Alright, come, come, come. Thank you, okay? Here's your lunch box. Alright? Okay. Take care thank of you, okay? You. Have a good Bye. day, darling. God be with you. Quite impressive. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mrs. Afam. I can't take the credit alone. I mean, this is joint effort. Thank you, Miss Redknapp. You are a genius. Thank you so much. <laughs> this calls for celebration. Okay. We're improving, yeah. making more profits. Ah, that's <laughs> great. Wow. I'm sure Daddy was so happy when he said this. Yes. Talking about your father. How is he? How is he fairy? Still hoping that one day he comes out of there. He will, by God's grace. Hmm? Just keep doing your best for him. Okay? Thank you so much. Uh, I, I will be in my office right now. Thank you. Oh, she, she's an intelligent and very smart child. Oh, 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 yeah. She's a super oh, child. She's oh, one of a oh, kind. Oh, 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 yeah. She's, she's an intelligent and very smart child. So smart, yeah. Oh, yeah. She is one of a oh, kind. Oh, she's one of a oh, kind. Yeah, oh, yeah. She's a super child. So, madam, how are you feeling? I'm okay, doctor. After I took the medications you gave me, I, I feel so much relief. That's good to hear. About my husband. Doctor, please tell me. Are you sure he's still alive? And if he is, is, is there no medication or any other supporting system that can help him come out of this. I understand how you feel, madam. He's already on a supporting system we know of. He's in coma, and for him to come out of it is 90% natural process. So until then, we have to let him come out of it. Okay, doctor. Okay, we'll keep praying. My love. I'm really sorry for everything I put you through. I'm sorry. God, I can't believe I threw away the beautiful and lovely family that God gave me. I made the greatest mistake of my life when I left. I've told you countless times I have realized my mistake. I'm sorry. I just, I just hope you go. Come out of this quickly and give me a second chance. I promise to do better. I will do better. Hi, right, Sina. Welcome back, honey. Welcome back. How? Oh. How was work today? Well, hectic, but we'll sort it out. I trust you. Thank you. Um, where is uh, Amanda? Aha. I thought you would forget. Why can I forget my genius, my ambassador, my everything? And I what? 
Well, and you, um, hmm. I, well, okay. My missing foundry. <laughs> the woman that completes my totality. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now that I have made you happy, where is my queen? <laughs> She's asleep. Oh. Come, let's go up there so you can rest. Special emphasis on rest. Uh, I thought I was going to eat before I, <laughs> I, I rest. Honey, so. trust me. Upstairs is the best place to eat right now. <laughs> but not the one in the dining room. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I told you not to come to the kitchen until I'm done cooking. <laughs> Honey, with the kind of aroma I was perceiving out there, I wasn't too sure I had to come in to make sure you're not cooking us poison. Hey! <laughs> have I not been cooking meals for you? <laughs> oh, that means I am a bad cook. Oh, no, I, I never said that. But then you know that you're a bad cook. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and you think, you're not even checking this is oh, 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 you distracted me. <laughs> What is this? You're gonna <clears throat> burn down this house. <clears throat> <laughs> you spoiled everything. <laughs> it's okay, the effort is what counts, okay? <laughs> you want me to score you? On a scale, On a scale. of 10? Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, if you had cooked this food enough for us to eat at least and it didn't taste fine, I would have said it's six. But with this, it's two and a half. <laughs> Go away. Go away. <laughs> oh, I fed you so much that I couldn't even carry you. I know, you take such good care of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, try this. Yeah. Oh, God. What was I thinking? Beautiful, loving family. Ah. God, everything is turning upside down. Everything is turning upside down. God. Please, Lord. Please bring back my husband. And to life, thank you. God, I'm not, I'm not only losing my husband, even my daughter, God, she's too young for all this drama. <laughs> Please come to my rescue. <laughs> I want him back, back on his feet, so I can tell him that I'm sorry. I need him back, back on, on his feet. Yeah, I, Lord, I'm praying, bring him back, back on to me hey, so I can right all my wrongs. I need him back, back on this yeah, face. I, I, I'm sorry for all I have done in the past. That's in the past. So up till now, Ferdinand is still in coma. Hmm. <laughs> Sure, this doesn't have any spiritual implications. Because I don't understand what is going on. Uh -uh. Auntie, if I tell you I'm not as shocked as you are, I lie. Because I really share your sentiments. It must be spiritual, because we were just there, he was fine, and he just slept until now. Still in coma. I've been praying so hard. Because if anything happens to Ferdinand, Chimamanda might not survive it. Obviously. That daughter of yours, she has a very strong bond with her father. I mean, this is taking too long. 
I just pray Ferdinand comes out of it soon because I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know what else to do. Mm. Listen, Flora. You don't have to do anything. You've done enough. You have lost yourself in the process. Yes. As it stands, the only sick person here is not Ferdinand. You are also sick. I'm just stating the obvious. Now that you are out, what are your plans? What plans? I was released with lots of terms and conditions. An investigation is ongoing. If those two idiots know what is good for them, they should better go there and close down the case against me. It is late now. It is too late because as it stands now, you are the one directly involved in this. Exactly my point. In fact, I regret accepting this in the first place. We just have to keep our fingers crossed. I have to go inside. I want to get something. I'm understood to go represent us. So why did you tell Mr. Dave and Mr. Maxwell to go instead? I owe you no explanation. And I am not answerable to you. You seem to have forgotten that you and I occupy the same key position in this company. Chimamanda, if you can make decisions without telling me, then I can equally do the same. But are we in some sort of competition or what? <laughs> you can choose to call it whatever you deem fit. It's actually not my business. Just remember that I am not answerable to you. Excuse me. Before you excuse your already excused self, just know that I am Chima Manda, mm -hmm. a child who is fearless and has much grace. I will unmask all you are doing and deal with you so decisively that you will regret doing all this in the first place. Now, young lady, you can excuse yourself. <laughs> if I don't give you her wings, it will lead to something else. I don't trust Mr. Dave and Mr. Max. I know they are in this together. She warned me. She told me. I didn't even listen to her. Now see where it has landed me to. God. Mr. Maxwell, we started this whole thing. And you both should do something about it. Investigation is ongoing and these people are serious about it. We are serious about what we are doing. Look, listen. We are sorry for what has happened to you. After all, we plan to come and bail you. Do you understand? We are sorry for the uncle inconveniences. So relax. Let us continue from now on. All those things will not happen again. Ah, listen, we are going to keep in touch. Huh? Yes. Keep in touch with you to... Uh, Update you on day to day developments. You understand me? But please, do not stop coming to the office. Yeah? Yes, you keep coming. But if you stop, you will keep room for suspicion. Exactly. That's it. Can you hear what you both are saying? Never. I will never come to that office again. In fact, I am lying low. And I'm staying away from that company for now. Thank you. I'm leaving. She's serious. Very serious. How do we sell this one out now? Please. 
I think we have to think out of the box. You see, we don't have to be catechistic about it. Let us go natural. I know a Dibia. He lives in a very far place, but very, very strong and active Dibia. Let us pursue that anger and see whether we can get a good result. You understand what I'm saying? I think we are right. You are correct. So, one we, we have to make the move immediately. We have to. You know, the man lives very, very far. We will just have to plan how to do it. But we have to help. Let our head come down first. All this ranting that this girl is doing now is even getting me upset. So, do you actually believe them? I mean, do you think there's anything those two can do for you? I don't even know what to think at this point. I'm confused. Exactly what I was scared of. I told those old fools, but they wouldn't listen. Baby girl, this is not the time to abortion blames. I mean, you have to pray so hard, so hard that they find nothing during this investigation. How? How is it possible for them not to find anything on me? Eh? Investigation is already ongoing. But to I'm... top it off, I cannot even run away. I've been restrained from traveling, part of my bail conditions. But I told you, I told you. I'm, I'm just so confused. God. Kenika, Kenika, again, Tobaya. A poor big pan, a boy big pan, Lipa canoe ban. Correct. One of you, pick what is in the pot. They are closer to the pot. Is it the pot? Pick. What is in the pot? What are you afraid of? Pick it uh, for us. Pick it. Good. This is what you requested for. Really? One of you should take it home. Yes, I'll take it home. That little girl that is disturbing both of you. Call her name three times. Hmm? Three times. Tell her to answer to the call of death. And that is all. That's all. That is all. But when you are done, bury the charm. Uh, where are we going to bury it? In the cemetery. Huh? Yes. But where? You cannot bury it. Bring it to me in the morning. I have some boys who will help you out. Thank you very much. Uh, but then anyway, we have the hat. Eh? He can bury it in the cemetery. We can, we can do that. One more thing. Be very careful with the charm. Hmm? You may go now. Chimamanda! 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 Ferdinand, I called you three times. I thought it's the favorite number of death. Death is beckoning, I won't echo. It is time to send you to the land of the dead, where you have to go and rest in peace.
This girl is a witch. Witch of the superlative order. You should have known. Thank God she didn't get me with that. I would have been a dead man. Me, a dead man. A witch of the superlative order should have known that. She wants to take my life. She never can have a prince again. God of Shadrach, God of Misha, God of Abadnego. Your child is before you. What I wanted to do was just a small thing. Why is this girl following me about? She could have a prince again. Remove the strength from Satan on your cobble. Mom, if this girl had gotten me with this, can if I go now call him mad? Jesse, Mr. Maxwell. And he begs for mercy. These men are up to something really bad. They should know that my God loves me. And no evil doer can harm me. Because I am Chimamanda. Miss Fernand, you sent for us. Yes, sit. We're seated. So shoot. Miss Fedna, we're here. Mr. Maxwell, I sent for you. Do not rush me. I sent for you, so you should be patient to listen to what I have to say. My apologies. I heard you both have not been around. Yes. We... You went out. We had uh, an emergency uh, we, we had to attend to, so we had to run out. Yes, and we combined it with market drive, which uh, we decided to go and do. Uh... There's no way an external auditor will be coming out soon. External auditor? I just want to inform you all so you get ready. And not be surprised when he comes. No, but do we, do we, is it not necessary for, for us to have external auditors? 
We the internal auditors are doing a good job out of it. I need an external auditor to scrutinize every note and cranny of this company. Look, you don't understand. We the internal auditors are scrutinizing every nook and cranny. In fact, all the schools are put we are feeling. We can't. What do you need an external auditor for? I need an external auditor. Yes. You are still here. Yes, we. Sorry, it did. This internal is an encouragement into our job. Flora, you know if things were all right between you and Ferdinand. You would have been the one man in that position. And you would have been able to, you know, counter those threats. You're right, Auntie. But I guess there's little or nothing I can do now. I can't even go into that premises to find out what's going on. Well, you still need to discuss with her. I mean, she needs to be guided. Also, you need to support her with prayers. You know, Flora, you're so lucky. God has blessed you with an amazing child with distinctive qualities. You know, I'm seriously thinking of stopping here from going to that company further. Yeah, because I do not want to lose my daughter. Maybe, yeah, auntie, let her stop going there until her father gets better. Mm. He can sort out whatever problem that's going on there. Don't, don't need to bother yourself, Laura. Um, they've put my child in harm's way. <laughs> Listen, before these incidents, even the father knows that in a business environment, situations like that occur. Yes, I mean, from competitors, from enemy within, you know, just name it, so... I don't think you should bother yourself. She'll be fine. Mm. She's not old enough. That's what you think. Allow her, Flora. You should be me there. Everything is going to be fine. Hmm? Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> You'll be good. Almighty Father, I call upon your holy name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit my precious daughter unto your able hands. Lord Jesus, I know that you are protecting her from me. Lord, you have been the one protecting her since this whole saga. Lord Jesus, please do not relent to protect my daughter. Father, Lord, you are all that I have at this moment. Lord, you are all that I have at this moment. Father, please protect my daughter. I commit her into your evil care, Father. That office, Holy Spirit, be with her. Holy Spirit, direct her footsteps. Holy Spirit, guide her. Holy Spirit, I cover every part of that office with the blood of Jesus. I cover the seat that she sits on the blood of Jesus. I cover her desk with the blood of Jesus. I cover everywhere she steps foot in that office with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, no evil planned against her shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, no man, no woman that stand any evil against her will prosper. Their plans will always be shattered in the name of Jesus. Yeah, until you will find no one. We're just hoping on God for a miracle. <laughs> I now practically live at the hospital because Chimamanda is very busy with work at the company. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's she amazes me. And I pray day and night for her, for God to protect her from those evil men in the company. Because I know them. Yeah, she is. 
She's indeed very smart, and I strongly believe she will overcome every temptation thrown at her. I believe. Ah. Auntie, do not worry, okay? D don't worry, we, we have enough money. All we need is your prayers. Yes, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ma, bye. Mr. Alexandra, you can start work immediately. I've shown you around so it will be easy for you to know each department you're working. So you can start work immediately. Uh, you have nothing to worry about, ma'am. But also, I would like to see every member of your staff and to know their positions. I'll do that. But mind you, I want this job to be professional. I repeat, I want it to be professional. I do not want any adulterated reports, please. Like I said, ma'am, you have nothing, absolutely nothing to worry about. I'm a professional to the core, and I will apply every element of professionalism in carrying out my duties. Fine, but I'm not sure all my workers are on seat. I'll just have to make arrangements as fast as possible. And you can just start to work now. But I hope it won't hinder your oppression. No, 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 no. Rather, it will aid my duty once I meet with them. Okay. So you can start your work now. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I am done with the report, ma, though I am still trying to finalize. I'll send the soft copy to you and also drop the hard copy. Hope you have discharged your details with all level of professionalism and etiquette. Yes, Miss Ferdinand. This report is not in favor of anybody. Okay, then. I'm waiting for the report. You're welcome, ma. Your seat is ready, ma'am. Um, Miss Ferdinand, instead of standing, why don't you just take a seat? Um, can I offer you something? Maybe tea or coffee? I'm okay. I said I can fix that myself. Um, take my bag, the laptop bag, everything to the conference room. I want to stay here. Uh, and Ma, this is your office. Really? Yes. I, I thought it's your office. I'm sorry, ma'am. Sorry for yourself. For the last time, take my things to the conference room. I want to work there today. ASAP! Yes, ma'am. It's not okay. I'll just.
to ask you a question. Have you in any way seen the auditor's report, the external auditor's report? Do you know what it contains? Mr. Dev, if you have any question, go and ask Miss Ferdinand, please. I don't know anything about what you're just saying. Because, as you can see, I'm very, very busy. Is that what you're telling me? All of this sugar cake thing, I want to walk it. Uh -huh. This is Miss Ferdinand. You can ask her all the questions you are asking. I will look quite there. Child! Ask her what? No! What do you want me to ask her? What? What is it? Okay, what did I ask you? What do you want me to ask her? Look at her. Mr. Man, can you leave this place? What's it going? Use the door, please. Go to my office, open the second drawer, get in my blue file. Okay. Your person. Ma. Dave, we should be rejoicing as a matter of fact. We should be rejoicing now. Do you Re understand? Rejoicing for what? It's not a time for you to. Who told you? Huh? Look, since morning she came here, mm -hmm. she has refused to enter her office. All this while she's been in the conference room. What's she doing there? Whether she stays in the conference room for a moment until night, she must eventually enter the, 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 the office. As a matter of fact, I have the keys, I have the techniques to make her enter the office. And put her buttocks on that seat, and our plan would have worked. Must <laughs> well. I know you are the master planner. Eh? Of course, I, I, I trust you there. Eh? But what I'm saying is this: this girl is not ordinary. Look at her. She's 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 far too smart, too intelligent for her for her age and size. Look at look at her. She's here. Her size is up there. That's yeah? why that her smart ass will have to stay on the smart thing we placed there. Oh, but okay, wait. What has the, 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 the auditor, that, that stupid idiot, she calls an external auditor, what has he come up with? She, she my mother has refused to speak about it. Up to now. It's good that she, she didn't she, even speak about it. They think, I said, think. Look, by the time she will be ready to talk, she will no longer be able to talk. <laughs> she can't talk to us. Let's go. Let's go. Relax. Relax. Okay. I asked for my blue pile and not this. Huh? Why can't you just listen? Miss Ferdinand, I think the external auditor took the, the file. Took the file? Yes. The company's file. Yes, ma'am. So it is, I had to bring Can you it. get this off?
Discussed this today. Did you get my credit alert? You got it? Yes, I got the credit alert of 500,000. Good, good, that's good. Um, okay, no, take this. Take. I hope this is not going to harm her. How is that your business? How is that your business? Go and do the job for which you are paid. That's all. Listen, you will get the balance of 500k after the job is done. Eh? Just go. Don't worry. Let me see how we are not going to... Uh, 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 win this battle. Eh? We shall conquer. Wherever we go, we conquer. This one, we shall conquer. I, I, I forgot that I put something on the chair. So when Miss Miss Ferdinand asked me to go and get a file, I was so tired and I just sat on it. God is wonderful. Indeed, we serve a living God. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me, I did it because of money. Forgive ah, me. How could you? How could you miss Martha? How could you compare with this evil man? To do evil to a little girl, eh? If she were to be your daughter, wouldn't you be happy that God left you with an intelligent girl? A red chair! Hey. 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 Hey.
must have wanted this. Yes! You must have told her what to say. Yes, and I know you. I know you very well. Look at you, you already have four eyes. What has happened to you? You have four. Two of <laughs> Nonsense. Uh, Miss Finland, I hope you do not believe what this thing can do. This idiot, this this restaurant, this nonentity. I hope you don't believe what she's saying. No, do you? I'm short of words. The extinct men go because of greed and money. Mr. Day. You and your friend, Mr. Maxwell, you are all happy now, right? You are happy! Evil man, you are happy! You wicked! You Good afternoon, everybody. I am Inspector James. Here is my colleague, Sergeant Peter. Yes, 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 yes. We are here to arrest one Mr. Maxwell. Maxwell Fabo. Yeah, he traveled to, over two, two months now, we're not seeing him. He traveled to, he left the country. And Mr. Dev. Hey, he, he's the criminal. Mr. Dev, look, look at him here. You are Mr. Dev? Yes. I will go and show you Mr. Master. Hey, don't you go there. Mr. Dev, you're under arrest. Yes. Under arrest. Yes. Under arrest, me under arrest. No, for what? First planning. Uh, planning what? Don't tell them. Forging of documents. The documents. And money laundering. Mm -hmm. You have every right to remain silent. Because whatever you say will be used against you. I'm happy to break to you that since the arrest of Mirabel, you all have been under investigation. And the last audit shows how you all turned the company's income into your personal fund. So today is your end. So let's move. Uh, move! Thank you. Uh, I will say you are a Thank you. Hold on, 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 hold Chairmonda, I must indeed say that you are a blessed child. And this even calls for thanksgiving. You can imagine what would have happened if their plans had succeeded. I'm so very shocked. The length at which those men would go just to achieve their dirty desires. That's okay. I am actually making you a promise. None of them will go unpunished. And I will make sure that they return every cobo taken from the company's treasury. They are going to court. Thank you so much, Barrister. Oh, you're welcome. And please, do take legal actions necessary. Because this man, they have been part and parcel of this company. Oh. And they have been causing more harm than good. That's all right. You can be rest assured. I will do the needful. Thank you so much. You are very much on track. I have to take my leave now. Okay. Oh, 
Holy Spirit, if it be because of our sins that we have not received our miracle, please forgive us our sins. Forgive me my sins, Father. Forgive my husband his sins. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want our miracle. God, give us our miracle. Lord, I believe in you. I believe in your mighty works. Father, in the name of Jesus, we receive our miracle. Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever ailment this might be, the doctors must have called it whatever they want. But Father, you have the final say. You have the final say in our lives. Holy Spirit, I call upon you. Lord Jesus, I call upon you. Lord, we want our miracle. We should receive our miracle in the name of Jesus. Father, heal my husband. Father, whatever ailment he is having in his body right now, whatever infirmity in his body right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you heal him. Father, heal him in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, heal him. Honey, honey, oh my God, honey, you awake? I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here, honey. I'm here. Oh my God, you awake? Let me, let me get it, doctor. Honey, keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open for me, I'll be back. Let me get the doctor. Oh gosh! Doctor! Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you. Doctor, oh God, we are so happy. Look at my daughter. Thank you so much for all the effort you put in. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you too for supporting us with your prayers. Thank you. So where will he be discharged? Um, we'll watch him for the next 72 hours. If his condition improves, that means we'll place him on medication so we can keep him strong. It's okay. important. Okay, that, 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 that works. We're, we're okay for all of that. <laughs> he's fine now. We know by the grace of God, he is fine now. <sighs> I'm thing. happy you guys are happy. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Giving Chimamanda the muscle she actually needs. But wow. <sighs> it's, it's okay, Ferdinand. I mean, I I did what I had to do. Yeah. And I thank God today that you're back on your feet. We were really scared. We were very scared, but. I just strongly believed that you will be back on your feet. I believed in God. I thank God and I thank God for Chimamanda too because you needed to see her. Yeah. She's very happy now. I'm happy too, I'm gone. Stay for me. Me too. Just little steps, okay? <laughs> You're fine. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Okay, I'll keep it for now. Mm. It's okay. Can I rest? Yes, sure. They're here. Oh, good. Okay. Welcome home. Oh, this is beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my angel. <laughs> so, my brother, my friend. Yes, yes. Thank you. Let's make toast. Let's toast to long life and more blessings. Amen. Thank you, my angel. 
guys have the most intelligent, cutest, and smartest daughter I have ever seen. I know, right? I am so proud of you, my baby girl. No doubt, you grew up into a strong woman, just like your mother. Yeah. Keep it up, darling. Thank you, mommy. I really <laughs> appreciate Barista. You're welcome. <laughs> so let's eat before you both get my head swollen with a compliment. <laughs> uh, Flora, I want to thank you once again. Um, Chief Amanda told me of the way you had to take care of me while she was busy in the office. And that's why I asked her to invite you for lunch. You really do not have to thank me. I feel so guilty for putting you in that condition. And again, I am so sorry for all that happened. All Chimamanda wanted was for you to get well. And um, I helped out where I could. Uh, all I could do was, you know, assist. Laura. Come and join us here. You heard me right. Come join us. You see, things happen for their reasons. Thank God no life was lost. And today, I, I want to say I, I, I want to say I forgive you for all that happened. I want you to get your things back to the house. Let us start from where we start. Thank you so much, honey. I Thank want you. him back <laughs> on his feet So, so I much, can honey. tell him that I'm sorry yeah. I need him back on, on his feet Ferdinand, Flora, Chiamanda I sincerely don't know what to say at this point in time I've totally run short of words But be it as it may I'm happy for today's reunion. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marissa, for everything you have done for us. Thank you. Uh, let's eat now. Ibo can continue inside after it. It's my mother. You're just a naughty girl. You're just a naughty girl. <laughs> Okay, let's eat. Let's eat. Come back to me. Lord, I'm praying that you bring him back to me. Hey, come back to me. Darling, I'm 
Don't leave me now. We need you now. For the sake of this family, I don't mean it to be this way. God, bring him back to me. Don't leave me now. We need you now. Please come back to me. I don't mean it to be this way. You know what? God, bring him back. You can recognize a gold digger by me looking at them. <laughs> Mirabel. I never would believe that Mirabel is one. <laughs> Ferdinand, I think Mr. Maxwell and Mr. Dave put her up to it. But never mind. They will face the charges. I'm only glad with the fact that you're back on your feet now. Thank you, Barrister. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Don't mention what are we friends for. Mm. I will give you the briefing on how it goes tomorrow. They are going to court. You will hear from me. All right. I will be hearing from you. I have to take my leave now. All right. Please take good care of yourself. I still find it difficult to believe that Mr. Dave and Maxwell were happened to destroy my company. And Mirabel. They are evil. As for Mirabel, I always knew nothing good would come out of her. I'm glad you handle things the way you did. You really have me be proud. Thank you, Daddy. I'm your father's daughter. Yes, you are. <laughs> Daddy, see, take a look at the level of success we have achieved at the company. <laughs> this is five times our net profit. Yes. You did this? Wow. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Daddy. Do you know that we have to celebrate? We really have to celebrate. I was wondering how you were able to do this magic. <laughs> I am an intelligent daughter of an intelligent father. You can see that again. <laughs> this is so impressive. Thank you. Wow. You are truly my ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> and I look forward to making you more proud so you can keep wearing this happy look. Oh, so thoughtful of you. <laughs> That's my angel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, she, she's so intelligent and very smart. Oh, 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 yeah. She's a super child. Don't wanna fuck. So smart, yeah. Oh, yeah. She is one of a kind, oh. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. She's a super child, yeah. Do not underrate her intelligence. She is smart and bold, just like an adult, yeah. She knows what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. She is like a pro, a professional in what she do. Miss Intelligence, that's the right name to call her. 
Cause she so smart A blessed child A child that I don't tremble At the sound of her voice She is so blessed And she is so smart